Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Slay the Princess and our familiar content warning screen. <laughs> yep, this is where we start. <laughs> this is our landing page. This is home. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Honestly, again, it's a good place to start in case you are coming into this for the first time and and uh, just to get a sense of what uh, you'll be experiencing. It's but also purely anyway. self-serving because the scariest part of the game turned out to be the jump scare that happens when you stay on the home screen too long without interacting with it. The rest of the yes. game been pretty chill, but that for whatever reason got me. <laughs> so I'm frankly I'm grateful for the game for giving this to you like right at the start. I mean again for multiple reasons, but also for the fact that you don't have to go straight into the main menu screen and deal with the jump scares that happen whenever you <laughs> idle. <laughs> Yeah, I am great. not a like. I feel like those are always designed for YouTubers. They're designed to punish people who are trying to stream <laughs> the the games. Oh, you're just hanging out? Come on, play the game. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nochi San, for the for the sub. Yes, thank you. Thank you so you much. So much. Yep, uh, we are playing a bunch of parrots, um, attempting to do a number of. <laughs> choices. <laughs> Great <laughs> summary, <laughs> Allison. Really, really <laughs> knocking it out of the park there. Welcome to Slay the Princess, where we, we are parrots and we do some choices. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> that's not incorrect. Yeah, that is kind of it, right? Like, that's kind of the summary of the game. <laughs> sure. Boiled down to its essence. Uh, I, I am excited. I am anxious. I am so many feelings because I feel like this might be our, our last time playing Slay the Princess. And I feel like I'm, I'm holding in my arms a bunch of, like, things I want to do and I don't know how to do them. <laughs> so I understand. Yeah. yeah because because like we have to finish the route that we're on right now but then we also have like i, I anticipate that we'll finish it before uh the, the night is over so we'll have to decide like what we want to do <laughs> from there um yeah i should we give like a summary would you, or like a, yes. a a last time a recap sure so let's do it joking <clears throat> aside welcome everybody to slay the princess this is our second playthrough of this game. Um, and in this game, you go through five uh, routes, uh, interacting with a princess, uh, and your choices determine your relationship with the princess. Uh, at the beginning, you are told by an omniscient narrator that your job is to slay this princess and save the world because if the princess is allowed to leave her area um, of captivity, uh, every everybody will die and the world will end. Um, and depending on how you decide to approach the princess, whether you uh, go in with the intent of violence, whether you go in with a hand outstretched, whether you... Um, want to make her worse or try to make her better, your choices determine who she is to you and what horrors she might unleash. Um, this is a horror game. Uh, heads up. Uh, yep, uh, <laughs> I, I know Malaloba uh, posted uh, the content warnings um, and also they were on the, they're on blacktabbygames.com, I believe. Yes, you can go look them up there as well. Uh, just also be mindful. There's parallaxing effects and some strobing lights and loud noises and things. You know, horror game, uh, run the mill. So take care of yourselves. And if you want to see what the detailed list of uh, trigger warnings are, you can go check out blacktabbygames.com and, and look there. Indeed. Um, yes. We are in uh, that's a, a, a predicament because we are on route five of our second playthrough, which means we yes. are reaching the end of the game, hypothetically. Sort of. There's a lot of, there's a, well, we're, we're reaching the end of this playthrough, you know, the second round playthrough. Uh, as we've discovered, there are many, many aspects of the princess that we can uncover, as well as many aspects of ourselves as we go along the way. And we, we bring along different voices that uh, react and shape the world and ourselves as we are shaping the princess mm -hmm. as well. Essentially, uh, whatever we, perceive and uh determine to be real is then made real mm -hmm. uh i don't know if it's <laughs> again we're we're a couple streams into this uh, not like spoiler warning or anything but like we've discovered that we are essentially two gods locked in a immortal struggle between uh 
you know, bringing even, about death or not. Yeah, or <laughs> even two faces of the same god. Um, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I think we that's are probably more accurate. Yeah, we're split. We're the long, quiet, and the shuddering mound. Shifting um, mound. Shifting mound. Um, yeah. And uh, you know, we are in conflict. We are the same thing. We are in love, and we are destined to ruin one another. Um, and we are stuck in this situation because of one weirdo who uh, didn't want to die. Um, pretty <laughs> much it. Pretty much. Uh, essentially, essentially uh, the, the entity that I guess came before us determined that uh, uh, they, they basically, yeah, fear didn't of want, death. Yeah, didn't want to die. to get rid of death for everybody and for himself. Uh, and uh, oh my goodness! Thought about this, but oh, oh thank my you God, so much, you. incompetent fire! That's amazing. Thank you, incompetent fire! Thank that you, thank you, wonderful. thank you! Whoa! Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Ah, oh. holy shit! Y'all rock! Oh so my God. here is my thought on how we might approach this. Um, okay, okay. For, first, as a quick summary, in in our second playthrough, we yes. um have. Uh, gotten the wraith, the thorn, mm -hmm. the. Mm -hmm. it's, it sounds like I'm naming uh, card captor Sakura um, <laughs> cow <laughs> cards. Uh, the wraith, the thorn, the gray, and the nightmare. What was the final form of the nightmare? The. Was it just the nightmare? What was, was it she? The nightmare? Was it uh, the the moment of clarity? The moment of clarity was the final version. Okay. Is that what is that what it was? Uh. Oh shit. I'm trying to remember something, um, something like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we experienced. Oh, the gray. Uh, I'm forgetting the gray. You said the gray. I did say the gray. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You said the gray. Okay. Um, so, um, the final one. I think. I think again. I have some ideas for what the final one could be, but um, there are some things that we've talked about over the course of this playthrough that we haven't done before, and I'm looking at our our homepage here. This is our loop five save. So at any time okay. we can go pick this up and we can finish the game. I don't think we should start there. I think we okay, should that end is there. I'd love to end on our confrontation with the princess, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, so that sounds really good. This looks like it's a save at the beginning of a loop. So we could pick up here if we want to just try a few things. Oh, so, okay. So you're saying we, we pick up at the beginning of a loop, try some stuff, and then come back and do our fifth princess yeah. in our our end loop. Yeah, we may pick up a few other princesses along the way, but they won't be reflected in our, our end loop. Um, but I, I, I think there's just, we have enough time to try a few more things. And I'm looking at these and I'm not feeling terribly inspired by, I don't think we have a bunch of options here. Sure. Yeah. I, I, again, I can't see your uh, mouse at the bottom at the three. Moment, so I don't know what you're. Or having frankly, okay, any yeah. any of them that aren't the the top right. Okay. Yeah. Y yeah. Because I, I've, to be frank, I'm actually pretty happy with how those uh, played out. You know. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think. I mean, we could go in there and try to branch them. Oh, but actually, I think the bottom right could be interesting. This is this is immediately pre tower. If we want to do any tower stuff, oh yeah, we could do so. We could we could do some like we could start the tower, and then try like, some stuff out. Try and defy the tower. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. All right, let's let's start okay. there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go. Let's go mess around a little Although, bit. Although, actually, also, before we do the tower, can I finally do the let's try to get her out of her chains after we've thrown away the knife? Oh, I've wanted sure. to try that one for. I've, I've been saying we we're gonna do that one for like, for like yeah, go for it. Three different loops. Let's let's start there. Yeah, yeah, let's oh, do it. For the love of good, I'm glad you've come to your senses. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Okay. Uh, and if uh, there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of there? Let's try that. 
Okay, that yeah. That would be fine. I can lose an arm. <laughs> she speaks with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement. Okay, we know, we know, we know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no way. The knife's gonna fall back down, you make your way right? Back to the bottom of the Probably, stairs. but this, this is our first time. So much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. The knife's already down here. This is that. That's the main difference. Is we didn't leave the knife upstairs um, for this. That's right. We just got locked down. Yeah. Here. So the knife okay. is somewhere down here. Maybe she even has it. Easier for mm, okay. whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh. You don't have that. You would only have a... No, I have both. Save or slay. Yeah. Um, let's try... S <laughs> Make a save! Yeah, yeah, Let's try yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving yeah. her. Okay. Let's cut Let's her gonna, out. She's gonna cut her out, right? Yeah, but we've never been the one to cut her out before, I think. That's true. I think you're right. Yeah. Against oh, no. your better we have. judgment. It's the same one. Oh, okay. The blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Great seeing no, all these people joining us for the first time. The Welcome. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. As the princess approaches the okay. bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. I wonder if this is even different. I, it's hard. It's so hard to tell when yeah. you've made a choice that makes them it very. She's been different because all of her lines have been different than the like. It's the same line but different delivery. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's not feeling too different. But what is this the start of a loop? Yeah, this is this okay. is this is chapter one, which is why okay. usually minor changes here can affect things. Yeah, is this is this chapter one of Princess One, or it doesn't uh, really matter? It We're doesn't just really looking. matter. It's somewhere in the middle. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, Slayer Warn. Ooh. Well, let's see. If we slay her here, that'll that'll kick off. Um. Uh. Oh my God. I mean, let's assume it won't. That. What? Well, yeah. Won't. Won't. I'm that just gonna off, assume like, this is different. I could be okay. wrong, but. You want to? Do you want to slay instead of warn? I'm gonna warn her. Stop I'm gonna that. see. Okay. What I happens this with was a little too easy? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was about to say this feels Ooh. different. You were right. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. I guess because we brought the knife in. Yeah, and then we instead threw it away. The knife, and then we threw it away instead of the knife being dropped in by the narrator. Yeah. Okay. The okay. blade. Move the blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. Okay, this is I'll cool. make this quick. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark. And you die. She was very cool. I hope it was worth it. Whoa! Literally and and figuratively, like she, she her demeanor was so cold, but also she like so the power. Cold. Yeah, yeah, and like and like very clinical, just like cuts your throat and that's it. Like 
honestly well, the least messy way we've gone down in a absolutely. bit. Absolutely. I mean, she was being, she had the same sentiment of the princess when you leave the knife upstairs, which is the, I'll try to make this quick. Only she had the ability to do it. Whereas the other yes. one stabbed you like 20 times because she yeah. <laughs> thought stabbing you on the side of your ribs was going to be enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ugh. Throwing blood everywhere. <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. Whereas, this like, is what I thought. Okay. I was like, this felt different enough, but it's, you know, I, anyway, you were so I'm, right. I'm glad that worked. Yeah, I wasn't quite picking up on it. So I'm really glad that you got that. Um, that like the difference. Yeah, because you're right. In this one, we had brought the knife in and then we set the knife aside. Mm -hmm. um, okay. This is again, this is, cool. this is what I call the pre-tower setup. Um, and the pre-tower setup seems to have just a lot that you can, you can mess with. Yes. Yes. Very cool. Okay. The prisoner. The prisoner. Okay. This is a new one. This is a new one. You're on a path in the okay. world. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see who we got. Uh... Okay. I don't want to. What if I don't tell the narrator we've died before? Is it possible? No, not really. What if you just say I'm getting a sense of deja vu? A terrible sense of deja vu? No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. Skeptic. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here, for us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's interesting because we're, we're okay, the setup right now is we're on bad terms with the narrator because the narrator forced her hand. We're on decent terms with the princess, but not lovey-dovey over the top terms with the princess. That's actually a very fascinating, like we're borderline allies with the princess. Yeah, yeah, we warned her and everything and she turned around and she's like, oh, I see you're trying. Uh, let me take you out and come find me later. Exactly. And I'm competent life. enough yeah. to, to actually be a partner in this. This is interesting. Oh, okay. This is actually really cool. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know I can hear you two, right? It's going to be a lot harder <laughs> than you think to keep secrets from. Peers. And as far as Venus trying to is right. goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large? I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. Uh, proceed to the cabin. Yeah, let's head over. And we got to get to hang out with oh, the skeptic. Warning. Before you go any further, she will mm -hmm, lie. Mm -hmm. She will cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Did you just say <laughs> wink out loud? No, I didn't. <laughs> wink. Wink. Just ignore this clown and focus on the <laughs> Don't call him a clown! <laughs> Don't call him a clown! <laughs> I will That's say this is so one of the funny. least dramatic alterations uh, we've seen to the cabin on the hill. Yeah, nothing really major here right now. Mm. <laughs> Wink. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so going to not take the knife if you're cool with that. The interior yeah, that's totally the cabin cool. It's less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. Okay, the only prison, furniture yeah. remote is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, okay. yeah. The blade oh, thank is you, implement. Mercy's wife. Thank you for You're joining us. You want to do this right. Uh, Glad no, no. No blade. Uh, yeah, yeah. It sounds like yes, because we're like we're like allying with the princess. Yeah, this one basically. I, right? I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah. I'm then no, I'm no blade. Insist we take the blade. Oh. We're in a dangerous situation, and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. Are you sure? Oh. What if she? I don't know. Turns it against us, which I'm bringing up in a purely hypothetical manner. Yes, I'm sure. Turns it against you. She's a prisoner here. She'll only be able to turn it against you if you give it to her. Which you won't be doing because she's an existential threat to the entire world. Okay. I'm trusting you. Interesting. The narrator talked us out of it. Whoa. Okay. Hey, don't I get to stay here? What's what? the deal? Normally, yeah. yeah, but not about this. Call it a reflex. We take the knife as we go. Okay, skeptic. Skeptic. Wow. Skeptic. Exactly skeptic! Sweeping the knife from the table 
before proceeding to the basement. All right. Don't okay. worry about it. We have a knife, so what? It's not like we have to use it. No, you don't have to do anything, but you do well to use it regardless. Huh. Moving on. Okay. All right. I'm intrigued. The skeptic is another the powerful one. The basement one. creaks open, revealing yeah. an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. That one was different. <laughs> that one was different. I think he reads it different every time. Carries Ugh. up the stairs. <laughs> Sorry, <Gina. laughs> Gross. <laughs> Again, I'm just every one every once in a, a, a while the expel uh, Excel spreadsheet of this game flashes in yep. front of my eyes and I cringe. Oh, spoken like a voice actor. <laughs> Can't believe that. Can't shit. believe this. Every shit. time. Every time. Oh, what do you mean? There's <laughs> takes twenty and twenty one of this. Is not a visitor I hear. Please come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Does she remember us? Oh. You walk down the stairs Ooh, and lock eyes wow. with the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves, the chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. This it could look sad, but because she's got that type of eye, she just looks like, like a sad ninjoid. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the chains are so thick; they look very cartoon. I don't know. This one looks cute to me. <laughs> like, I feel like yeah. if they were gonna make a Slay the Princess like figurine, it would be of this. It's like, yeah, it's the far away render that's like kind of cute looking. Yeah, I know. What you, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> put a baby in chains. <laughs> oh, I'm sure when we get close, she'll be very intimidating. Should we be worried nope, about she's the still one cute. around her neck? Oh, oh no, she, the little mouth face <laughs> she's so making, cute. it's kind of cute. Oh, uh, oh why man. Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in say. a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. I was chain. wondering about that too, honestly. Tail? Oh yeah. <laughs> She's right. had one before, she can have one again. You're right, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're totally right. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. I'm not sure. Look, I, I didn't to want do... to bring it. I know. The skeptic made me. Not our choice. Look, I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just gonna leave her here. Leave the princess in the basement. Sit with her, slay the princess. Oh, this is another leave her in the basement? A version of leaving her in the basement? I mean... It could be. Or could sit be. with her. Yeah. What if we go sit with her? Let's go sit what with her. We... Can you do a save? Always. Yes. Thank okay. you. Sit with the princess. Okay. Yeah. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close holding up one shackled hand. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. Interesting. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Little chain, uh, tiara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. sit where you were told to sit. You do as she okay. asks and sit on the floor, still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now... What are your intentions for me? My intentions? What do you mean? I've been here before. Am I the only one who remembers that? What happened after I died last time? That other chain on the wall. Who is it for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would you have That's me do? Question. I think I'm just yeah. going to leave you here, actually. You're not much of a threat to anyone locked up like that. Bye! Slay the princess. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I hope, you I hope you can't hear my neighbor's dog because, oh my God, it's barking so much. <laughs> oh no. I hope, I hope it's not coming through. <laughs> no, I think you're, There's, I think you're safe. I think you're fine. Good. There's a couple layers in between. I think that should be preventing it, but this dog has not stopped for like the past five minutes. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. Not to put my neighbors on blast here, but. Say okay. Oh, this poor dog is like barking so much. Poor thing. <laughs> poor thing. 
It barks a lot. Um, a I'm going to ask what dog. she means about our intentions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, so I'm afraid my only way out is surgical removal. I like her, her, uh, like, intonality and way of speaking here. Mm hmm I agree. Very, like, uh, you know, um, distanced and yeah. separated. Yeah. It's distanced but, and tired, but it's also in control, or at least, you know, try, like, put, trying to put that on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? You're right. Maybe she's delusional. Oh my God. All the more reason not to trust her. Unless she really could survive. Yeah, I think well, that's skeptic. I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. Um, been here before. Am I the only one that remembers? What happened last time after I died? How am I supposed to cut you out? If you didn't notice, your head is on the, it has a shackle. Let's get to that one in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can ask the other stuff. Yeah, that's fine with me. Oh. Are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. First you make a comment about having been here before, and now this. It's complicated things. Oh. How, exactly? As much as I'd like to remain in denial, there's no use. This is complicated things. Okay, so maybe yeah, we weren't yeah, supposed to let the narrator know, but we already let the narrator know. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, the narrator uh, just put two and two together now. Yeah. That's basically it. Maybe because the narrator wrested control from us last time, she was like, do you really want to let him know what's going on? Mm, oh, oh, I see. She's like, why did you say that out? Yeah, yeah uh, that makes sense. Ooh, oh, that's a good Ideally, point. this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process, you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse, just... Good luck. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information, it would have changed our actions considerably. I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary, even. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. That's pathetic. I never said I wasn't. Oh, it's interesting. <laughs> narrator having a moment with himself. Yeah, this characterization of the narrator here is good. Yeah. Interesting. Whoa. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Not sorry, the knocking on the soundtrack uh track is driving me absolutely crazy because I keep thinking that one of my pets is like <laughs> messing with something. <laughs> oh my god, anyway. Exactly. He gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. All right? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I yeah, because want. if you know if you know what we actually are, uh you might not do what I want you to do. Yeah. And we also the more we learn about ourselves, the more the prince. The more we learn about the princess, they're kind of, you know, because we're and, intertwined. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Fine, but you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, interesting. Sure. Ooh. We'll see about yeah. that. Yeah. Does this mean? Oh, interesting. Just Is give the narrator going to peace this out? Well, I mean, eventually, <laughs> he well, always true. does. But yeah, that's true. <laughs> Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. Okay. Uh, what happened after I died last time? Sure. Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. 
I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. Uh, how am I supposed to cut you out? Uh, that other chain on the wall, who is it for? I want to ask that one first if we're okay with I that. I want to ask that first, yeah. What would you have me do? Okay, yeah, let's ask that one. Yeah. I don't know, but you could always try it on. Maybe it'll Ooh. fit. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna inspect the shackle. <laughs> inspect the shackle. She, it, it, yeah. That allow that forces us to get close enough to her that she could trap us in it. Just as a heads up. Yeah. But yeah, I like it though. I, mean, I like it though. As a possibility of something that, that could happen. I mean, I yeah. And why yeah. <laughs> is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle, and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. But what if he's telling the truth? He isn't. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, God! Mm -hmm. You want to inspect the shackle. Yeah. I think you should inspect the shackle. Yeah. Against your better judgment, you <laughs> approach the chain dangling from the far wall. Princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. I love, I love her little, her little peek over the from the yeah, corner. So I, I will say it. It's partially just the delivery and partially just because he's actually been decently forthcoming. But this route's version of the narrator, I'm kind of intrigued by, to be honest. Um, yeah, he's odd. Yeah, you're right. He is oddly being. For at least for the narrator, relatively forthcoming. Yeah, I. It's as one of those like of all the versions of the narrator in all of the paths. This is the one I'd probably be most likely to listen to. Uh, but I, I do want to touch the shackle and see what happens. Yeah, do it. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. Oh no, you know, you know what's about oh, to happen. No. Is she gonna and grab the music, us? The music got a oh left gosh, too. The music's gone. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? Do we have time to drop it? Yes. <gasps> it's bad. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. Oh, it did well, it on its own. Well, Fascinating. Well, well, at least she did didn't it, do I... it to us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, she gets to watch us uh, wither and die and then come back next time as something worse. <laughs> yep. Yep, totally. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going we're gonna to die in front of her to make her life worse. And, as if your situation <laughs> weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from Get your out. hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Unfortunate. Um, oh, no. Excuse me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. That's what happened? What? What do you want from me? <laughs> Are we stuck here now? Mm-hmm. Hello. Yes. Yep. <laughs> it <sucks>. Wow. Well. <laughs> well. Okay. I love the well, we're not gonna be like, yeah, this might off. as well happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it does fit, and I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. That's horrible. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. Not to touch things we're specifically told not to touch. <laughs> no, there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. So we're both stuck here. Mm. What should we do? <laughs> Play I Spy. Did you know that this was going to happen to me and wait in silence? So we're both stuck here? So we're both stuck here? Yeah. Yep. Did you know? 
No. I believe that. Hmm. All right. What should we do? That one for small talk? Yeah. Nope. Okay. That's fine. That's All right. rude. <laughs> Wait in silence. All right. I was going to say, what should we do? Nothing. You and the princess okay. wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. You're waiting for anything. This is so boring. There must be something we can do to get out of here. There must be something we're missing. But there isn't. Time passes. It passes and passes and passes. <gasps> and the basement of the cabin remains much the same. It is cold and silent. At least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. But she's not ending anything. She's just sitting there. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. How exactly does that work? It just does. But your line of questioning is interrupted by <laughs> the passage of even more time. And after that, <laughs> even more time passes again. I mean, you know what? We do have the benefit of having a narrator that can yada yada a starving. That's, mm -hmm, <laughs> that's, mm -hmm. that's convenient. Can, you, can, can like... you make this quick, narrator? Thank you. Just so you know, t a lot of time has just passed. Yep, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit more as well. Yeah. yeah. Let me guess. <laughs> the cabin remains the same. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. That's just how things mm. work. Skeptic, are you make that come into being? I suppose you're correct. Things are changing. The differences are small at first, a bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion there, but then they get larger and larger. Oh. Hey, have you noticed the basement changing? I don't yeah. like small talk, remember? This isn't small, this is big. No, this is, this is, this is Still important. Still rude. <laughs> All right, continue watching. Maybe we'll wait here long enough that it'll crumble and around us. And and then we'll hit the, the day comes Yeah, the, the long now. quiet. You can see earth through holes in the stonework. You can watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happens to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. She hasn't starved. I guess she hasn't. We're both gods. Even more silent time Ooh. passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass, and pass, and pass, until suddenly, Ooh. there are no walls. And then... I mean, this does make the narrator's point for every single time we're like, we'll just leave her there. You know, if she yeah. is change and entropy, then yeah, this is going to happen eventually. Then it doesn't matter. Yeah, because eventually uh, she will get out Yeah, because whatever is there will just resolve itself into mm -hmm. nothingness and release her. Yeah. Well, change there you go. Entropy. Wow. And? and now we get to see that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he's gone. Hello, Long Quiet. Would you look at that? Hey, Long Quiet. We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. So this is the outside world. It's cold. Oh, that's a we really got the sad existence. Yeah. Interesting. Do we I, want? I, I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. do you want to load back and? See try one of the other variations off of the prisoner. I definitely do. Wanna I, I, I want to see what, what the um, what the uh, shifting mound says about this vessel and then I want to load back. Okay. Shifting yeah, that sounds back. great. Oh, yes. yes. You're yes. right. Let's see what we look like. Part of me wants the truth but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Alright. We've unraveled. Yeah, that's the fourth one. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Ma'am, please just tell me about this vessel. What do you think about this one? How you feel? What do you think about this one? I found it sad. Uh, yeah, tell me about this vessel. Sad. This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Very nice. Okay. Uh, so load back to yeah. Let's okay. Uh, leave her. Sit with her, and actually sit with her. Don't put the chain on or slay the princess. Ooh. Uh, do we wanna? Do you wanna actually sit with her? And yeah. Just don't touch the chain. Let's, Let's do actually that. sit with her. Toward. There's fun. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Is that where you were told? Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, there is. Or does she? Or does she feel and I want to get the. Really. How do you? Well, I suppose you could just be here to kill me. Yeah. How am I supposed but to catch you out? I don't think that's in either of our best yeah, interests. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to ask that. No. No. Like I trust you to come any closer with that knife. All you're going to do is hand it to me and watch me work. Oh. But she would have to cut her head off, right? She can't be suggesting that. She certainly seems confident. Maybe she knows something we don't. Or maybe you should consider the most likely scenario. She's bluffing so she can disarm you. Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. So what should we do? I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. Then let me help you. I'll start with the cons. <laughs> if you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are none. <laughs> the pros are that we can't trust him. Possibly even more than we can't trust her. Whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. I hate this music track. We have to get past this music track. It's driving me crazy. Sorry. <laughs> you don't like the knocking. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. I mean, do we want to give her the weapon? Is that what she... So, yeah. She was asking for the knife. I mean, we could do Let's see. that. We added we some. That you realize that as much, uh, that I have as much reason to distrust you as you might have to distrust me. I'm not giving you the weapon in case you've forgotten you killed me with it last time. Uh, I can, I can cut you out of here. I'm not giving you a weapon. Okay, I'm trusting you, give her the knife. Uh, if you want to leave, I'm going to be the one with the weapon. Deal with it, cut her out on your own. I think I'm just gonna leave you. Oh, then we can just leave her here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What are you okay. feeling? Um, uh, can we do one more explore, actually, before sure. we decide? Well, um, a lot of these are... I mean, we could these do... These might lock us in, right? You, you realize that I have as much reason to distrust you as you have to distrust me. That was the one I wanted to ask, yeah. Okay. I do. So I guess this all comes down to which of us caves first. And it's not going to be me. I'm extremely patient. Yeah, we do know that. We do know. It's probably better <laughs> if we take action anyway. No use trying to wait her out. That's playing to her strengths. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, what are you feeling? Are you feeling giving her the knife? And see what that does? That just was going to get her out, and that's going to end it, right? Potentially? So... My, lo my logic is a little bit twisted from playing this game. Um, transparently, I'm always looking for the easiest way for the princess to kill us because that usually gets us to a chapter three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Give be completely knife, knife. honest. Yeah, like that. That's worked out for us in the past. Is like if she has the knife, then she might <laughs> she might kill us before we escape together, and then the long quiet can't claim us together. That's true. Uh, that definitely hasn't worked out before, to be clear. Like, I'm not saying that, like, it's an actually effective strategy, but it is how right. I'm thinking. That is fair. I, I agree. I guess my question is, does this princess have reason to kill us after we give her the knife and let her do whatever to cut herself out? Like, we tried to kill her that other time. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Let's give her the knife. Slide it over. Absolutely not. I am not letting you hand your only weapon over to the world-ending princess. Until you come up with any other idea, like, say, I don't know, doing your job and slaying her, you remain rigidly in place. Do you think this uh, will work? Oh? Interesting that you're only having us remain in place. It's almost like there are very real limits to your power. I don't know what mm. you're talking about. The world ends if we fail, right? 
Her killing us might not be our only failure state, if you catch my meaning. I don't know where you're going with this. Could you explain? Yes. Explain it. Sure. I'm insinuating that we could kill ourselves, Ruin this whole thing. You wouldn't. I'm not afraid of dying. Are you? A little. You got your point across. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> The skeptic is holding us hostage, <laughs> literally. What? It's the narrator and the skeptic are are fighting over us right now. Yep. And the hero's and like, "Wait, what? Life. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, what wait, are you doing? I kind, I kind of don't want to die. Yeah, I'd rather I'm not be part not. of this. <laughs> can, can you yeah. hold something else hostage? <laughs> Ooh. You okay. slide the blade across the floor. The princess maintains unsettling eye contact as she reaches down to pick it up. She hasn't Thanks. stopped looking at us. No. Yeah. She pulls up her hair, <gasps> smiling slightly, as she raises the blade to her throat. What is she doing? She doesn't say another word, as she cuts into her own neck. No. I mean... Look away, watch an uneasy silence. Uneasy silence, I, I suppose. Her eyes stare forward, unblinking, her smile unwavering as she soars through oh, I skin, hate the sawing noise. Veins, it's all the cartilage. noises! At last, she reaches bone, the blade grinding audibly against her vertebra as it continues to slice its way through her neck. It's like that, that, that crunching ice noise or nails on chalkboard, just like... Oh, uh, awful. Yeah. I'll be damned. Oh. She's actually doing your job for you. Why would she do that? Huh. She'll be fine. She can live with just a head. Yeah, she'll be fine. Killing us. She'll be fine. She isn't dead yet. Finally, you hear a <gasps> snap. Her eye twitches. There's an uneasy silence. She remains motionless for a long moment, her twitching eye the only movement in the room, until at last it stops in an unsettling half wink. Unless her way, she just didn't want to be involved. Her Maybe. head twists yeah. slowly to the side flopping to her shoulder and her neck opens. A little animatic action there. Yeah. The remaining tissue is not enough to hold the weight of her severed head. It stretches and tears until finally it falls to the floor, completely free. It bounces a few times before rolling to a stop at your feet. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What did we do? Can, can we put it back? Can we put it back? Hero. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We can fix this. We can fix this. Yeah, can fix just, this. Oh, just, oh, just, <laughs> you just hold it in place for long enough. It'll heal. <laughs> Duct tape. Princess's Duct tape. Eyes stare up at you. Dead. Congratulations. You saved the world. You're welcome, narrator. I'm thinking about that well, that old horror story about the woman with the the scarf around her neck, and she like marries her husband. She's like, the only rule is you can't move the scarf around my neck, and he like gets super like, what's going on with that? What's going on with that? And then he unties it, and her head falls off. Yep, yeah, yeah, I remember that story. Is that one of those um scary stories to tell oh, in the dark books? Scary stories to tell yeah, in the dark. Yeah, 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 yeah is I that think it, it is. Yeah, oh, yeah. We were obsessed with scary stories to tell in the dark when we were kids. That, mm -hmm. oh, that one's so good. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure she's not winking at us? Obviously not. She is thoroughly deceased. I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. We should take her with us, don't you think? And they're just like, no! Hey. <laughs> no! <laughs> Absolutely not! Come on, come on, what? come on, let's move, let's move, let's get out. You shouldn't do that. Why would you do that? I can think of lots of reasons. A trophy, proof of our victory. Hell, we could even give her a proper burial. She did save the world, right? You don't need proof, you don't need a trophy, and she doesn't deserve a burial. Just leave. Even after all that, you're still not satisfied, are you? Something is still motivating you to keep things the way you want them. I'm just eager to put this all behind us and give you your reward. Stop reading into things, the danger has passed. You can relax. I'm just keeping myself sharp. I'm not so eager to put my guard down. I am. I'm on team, let's put this all behind us, so can we leave already? <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you want to go claim our reward? We want to make another save because we're doing this now. <laughs> <laughs> if we're doing this now, you know? sure. <laughs> Take okay. her with us. Take her with you us. Want to <laughs> Okay, sure. <laughs> I think we take her head with us. Oh shit, it might end the loop. Well, yeah. This next stump still oozing well, bodily whoops. fluids. Then make your way back upstairs to the first floor of the cabin. Did you see that? Oh my yeah, God. she's alive. She's, she's alive. Okay, yeah. yeah, like why would you why would we do this? Yeah, if we're Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> the shifting mound's gonna be like well, thanks, I huh. guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, we've given her a literal heart covered in knives before. That's true. It, it could be worse. The shifting mound will be thankful regardless. She yes. didn't. Yes. She's dead. But she's what if not she's dead. not? Are you listening to us? We've herself? just willed Wanting it into to existence. explain to you why decapitation is lethal, the door to your bountiful reward is right in front of you. All you have to do is open it. Oh, it's leave oh, the cabin. Oh. Interesting that the narrator's having no us leave choice. the cabin this time. Yeah. Instead of stay you put. Open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is... Wait, no, that's not right. Well played. Hmm. This, this is the end of the world, isn't it? I always thought I'd at least have time to explain myself before I had to watch it happen. <laughs> Bye. <Fade out. laughs> Over? Is he gone? But we're still here. Maybe it wasn't the end of the world after all. Maybe it was just the end of his. Thanks for carrying me up here. I had to take it on faith that you would know what to do. I'm glad I was right to trust you. So, this is the outside. Maybe it's just my lack of body, but it's colder than I expected. Shifting Bye. mounds like yoink a thing. <laughs> you. You're welcome. Well, uh, we'll we'll go assess this one in just a moment. Yeah. <laughs> She's gone. Is that up? A... All right. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> see what what she has to say about this aspect. Yeah. Let's do it. This. You're right. Yep. And are we unraveled again? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Thoughts. All right, ma'am. Thoughts, Miss uh, Mound. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh, she she got the body. Good for her. Oh, oh. There's a oh. world beyond. Okay. What do yeah. you what you what you think about this what one? Think of this one. This one is cold and cynical. She has. Oh, it's the same. It's the same one. It's just a different variant of it's the a, same. It will make for a clever. Uh, makes sense. It's the same chapter. We we didn't yeah. we didn't progress. So it's still the prisoner. Okay. Yeah. I like the art for that. that yeah, I love that the prisoner has cool. so many different, like, very good. <laughs> let's reload here. That was cool. Gross. All right, let's. Gross. All right, let's leave her there. Claim our uh, reward. This path is already worn by travel and has been seen by one of my many. Wait, what? <gasps> oh. Oh, she's like, no safes going for you. <laughs> and, well, fair. That's valid. Sorry, Miss Mound. Also, that means that it would have ended. It, it, once she cuts off her head, it's over. What? All right, go back a little further. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. Is this work. what we're doing? <laughs> Wait, why did she stop us from our safes coming? What? I mean, I think oh, she. I think great. it would have. It would have had the same res, like result. Oh, oh. Also, chat is saying it would have triggered the gray. Oh, which we already had. That's an odd way to get there. That's an interesting way to get to the gray. Huh. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Fascinating. Okay, okay, okay. Would it be the All same? Right. Oh, we or would it be a know. different version of the gray? <laughs> just like, I imagine just like that, this is a very different version of the prisoner than the one where we sat in chains. I have to imagine it would have been a different version of the gray. It's got to be a different version of the gray. Yeah. yeah cool. But Interesting. But okay, yeah. Looks like... Folks are saying, okay, cool. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to leave well, the that princess is here. Super interesting. Let's leave her here. As if by divine will, just as you finish the thought, you hear a door slam. I'm afraid you won't be leaving until the task is finished. It doesn't matter how many chains she's in. Without your intervention, she'll find a way out eventually. That's not fair. Unless you deal with her right here, right now, she will remain an existential threat to the entire world. What seems unfair to you is fair for everyone else. Huh. So it's not even safe to think. I see how it is. How surprising. Okay. 
They locked you down here too. Okay, All right, then I'm gonna slay the princess. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's also the gray. <gasps> Another tr okay. All right, I think we might be out of out of choices here. Uh, On this one, at least. In yeah, which case, yeah. I think let's slay the princess. Okay. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down. The princess flinches as you strike, and your weapon sinks into her shoulder. You bastard. If I have to kill you to leave this place, I'll do it. I thought we had the this upper hand, new. but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's unarmed, and there's nothing she can do to hurt you. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. As you raise your blade to strike again, she kicks She's out. She's about to go into her little pose. I don't know if this is new. Well, the two yeah. Of you struggle oh. The ground. oh. You lash out with the blade, slicing wherever you can. Her fists connect with your body again and again, each blow stronger than the last, shattering bone and rupturing tissue with reckless abandon. Yeah. Forget trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her this everything This is going to kick off got. the tower? No. I don't think. No. Huh. This is, okay. um, out of her grasp what is and this? shakily push yourself back to your feet. I don't know. Maybe it's something new. I mean, well, we'll see. Every inch of you is in pain. The princess probably has it worse. Blood pours out from countless gashes, staining her once pristine dress. She pauses for a moment, catching her breath, staring at you with wild eyes. We can still turn this around. Finish the job, give up, run for the stairs and lock her in the basement. Maybe she'll bleed out. Yeah, uh, let's try that. Maybe? Sure. I don't know. Yeah, either that or finish the job. Like, that or fight back. I don't know. Yeah, what we're doing now. We're safe. <laughs> okay. You steal your resolve and take another step towards the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? Yeah, because we've already gotten this dialogue before. Alive? It's just slightly different art. It's to happen. Oh, I see. I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh, this is different, though. Yeah, this is different. The two of you fall yeah. to the floor. This was fun. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do Ooh. you really think this is the end? But you don't have the time to worry over her words. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay, let's Ooh. see. The okay. adversary. The adversary. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I like how she was like, this is fun. On a path Are we going to get the, the hunted? Or... And at the end of that path uh -huh. is a cabin. Somebody else. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. That You're would here. make sense because we haven't had the hunted properly. Yeah. Uh. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is I don't care about you. What happened. You know I can hear you. That's fine. Stubborn. It doesn't it's matter stubborn. if you can hear okay. us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. Oh, that's fair. We, we weren't hunted. We were like, we were like, like, we were combatants. Like, we're yeah, we are like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. That's the yeah, spirit. Yeah, yeah. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Okay. Uh, let's, okay. let's go right. to see who she is this time. Yeah, let's do it. A warning. Before you go any further, she will yeah, lie yeah, lying yeah. and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> the point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. <laughs> He's like, I want to battle time. <laughs> Finally, yeah, a worthy see. foe. <laughs> a worthy adversary for me. The cabin is tighter Ooh, than its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar, 
with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Like we're going in for like a like a tournament, like a ritual battle. Yeah, or yeah, something? a ritual battle yes. too. Yeah. The blade is your oh. implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Do you have thoughts on this, stubborn? Yeah. Really? Stubborn? You got nothing to say? Blade All or right, no blade? Here's, here's this big question. Hmm. I say we take the blade and to do a save first. <laughs> yeah. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I'm thinking your meta of can if we slay her, this will continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. What else can we? Like get? the, me- the yeah. meta is weird, but it is what it is. It's like if we slay her, sure. If she slays us, though, we definitely continue. <laughs> that that is oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. The door to the basement creaks open, base. revealing a rough stone staircase. Ooh its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. Ooh. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. I feel like we're going to a boss fight. Her fierce voice carries up yeah. the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. It's funny because the idea of the stubborn being as into the princess as the smitten is in its own way funnier. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like in Common and Fire, stubborn is a little horny. A little battle horny. <laughs> a little blood lusty. Yeah. <laughs> oh. As you oh, the final step, tiefling! the form of the princess <gasps> oh, shit. comes into Cloven view. hooves! A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Didn't know we were going to get a tiefling! I didn't expect this either. Oh, boy. <laughs> Looks like she oh, could shit. rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I'd been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. And you brought your little knife too. Teeth? Yes. Teeth. She's got little teeth. Little Whoa. teeth. Little little cool eyebrows. Love love uh, her countenance. <laughs> Agreed. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. Not if we do it first. Uh, I hope you heard all that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than last time, but at least last time definitely <laughs> happened. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you look different. So you do remember me. I'm actually here to free you? Question mark? Uh, I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpick first, like how we're both still alive. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Slay the princess. I don't know what happened to you since last time we met, but I am not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye. Turn around and leave. I think we should battle flirt first. I think we should be like, oh, so you do remember me. So you do remember me. Let's lean in. Oh, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. (laughs) So why don't we do it again? That's what she said? See, she wants to fight us again. There's no reason for us to stand around talking. All right. It's so horny. (laughs) What? She said earlier in the woods, I believe you. You've already met the princess and the princess has already met you. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. You don't know. Whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. Uh, are you okay? (laughs) Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Just because okay. it bothers you, just because it bothers you, I'm gonna take this even less seriously. You don't know the depths of my apathy. <laughs> 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 no, that's like a your secret is safe with my indifference kind of. Line. Yeah, <laughs> but pettier. It's like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've not yet begun to not care. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never died. 
Do you see how alive I am right now? Would someone as alive as me already have died? I don't think so. Don't worry. I'm do I'm, I'm gonna do a good job. You got me. <laughs> Pretty much everything you just said is true. Remain silent. <laughs> Are we addressing the princess right now? No, no, no. This lines? is directly to the narrator. The princess this is just, the narrator. Yeah. I say lie. We we should be we should be petty. We <laughs> should be flirty. We should be like, who fucking fuck you? Like, <laughs> this to lie to me. Just please take this seriously. <laughs> he didn't. He's, just, he, he's disappointed in us. <laughs> Agreed. <sighs> we can't win unless you treat this fight with the gravity it deserves. Um. You look different. You look exactly the same. Thanks. <laughs> oh, do we now? That's weird because we, we shaved a part of ourselves <laughs> off and now he wants to battle you. Yep. <laughs> we uh, have attack. We, uh, we have attack. We lost slay the princess, but we do have attack the princess now. Attack the princess. Oh, attack. <gasps> we'll, we will do, we'll do battle together. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do or battle. Or do you want to say anything else? Nah, nah, nah. Let's I do battle. I think I want to... Let's sexy battle. Let's go. <laughs> You're finally ready to complete your destined task. You launch off the wet stone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count all right. As you bridge the gap, your oh, blade have a nice slashes stone. across That's the right. princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood she's unfazed by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you right back down to the basement floor. You can hear her chains snap as you struggle to recover from the impact. She almost looks- Oh, she's out. Disappointed in us. Oh no. Why is she disappointed in us? Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. Don't let her get Fight me for head. real. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow. Think it through. Don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. The only way to win, the only way out of this, is through her. Strike out her head on? Yeah, let's fucking go. Let's fucking do it. That's let's your do plan, this. Then. That's your plan. <laughs> you push off the ground, ignoring the pain in your ribs as you charge at the princess once more. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum, your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. She grins at you from behind her guard. Pull it out. We'll try a different angle. No, we can do this. No. Just keep pushing. Stubborn's, stubborn's, yeah, Stubborn's not a very stubborn good tactician. Stubborn. <laughs> no, nope. Stubborn just wants to push through. Stuck in her arm. Keep pushing. Unlodge the blade and attack from a different angle. Oh, do we lean in with stubborn or not? Uh, we can go. We can go full force stubborn if we want. Yeah, I mean, she was like, go all out. She and seems to like that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dodge into at her feet, not away. The princess's grin widens as the two of you push against each other. Her fiery eyes and masochistic glee practically lighting up the dreary cave. Yes, you finally get it, don't you? What a teeth. I do. I do. <laughs> what are you talking about? Silently continue pushing. Unlatch the blade. So I'm between I do and silently continue pushing. Yes, you're right. We don't even need to talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she flipped us. Oh, no. Glides with your ribs. You feel them splinter, cracking like wet wood from the we're fine. <laughs> you barely have enough time to notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead against yours. Your grip loosens from the impact, the blade still wedged in her arm as you tumble to the cold stone floor. I said we're fine. I didn't say you weren't fine. 
I was just describing what happened. You might not have said as much, but you certainly implied it. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. The princess glances down at the blade embedded in her arm, and with near total ignorance to pain, slides it out of its sinewy prison. You forgot this. I'm punching the she air. <laughs> She's very cool. <laughs> She also is wrecking us. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know what we think we're doing me. here. No, <laughs> we right. are so small. Yeah, I mean, you. aren't you jumping the gun a little well, here? We died once, so it doesn't mean we're immortal, huh? She she ripped the knife out of her arm and she threw it back at us. Yeah, she's like, all right, Holy get back up. Come on, God. we're not done. <laughs> Were you being oh metaphorical when you said that nothing exists outside of us? There's more to the world than just this cabin. I saw trees and everything on my way in. Don't you mm. want to be free, though? Isn't there more to life than waking up chained in a basement and fighting to the death in an endless loop? Actually, I think I'm done fighting you. I don't think this is healthy for either of us. Pick up the blade and attack her again. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that. <laughs> I mean, if it's not clear, I know where I'm leading at least this look. We can always load back, but I, I want I want to give her what she wants. <laughs> do we want to do we want to save scum and come back here JIC, but also yes, I want to give her what she wants and I think we go all in on this. We staff. already have. Okay. I mean, I we yeah, I mean we can. Stab. I feel Stab. like we've already made a choice. Yeah. Yeah, let's attack her. Let's go. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Yes! You and the princess attack each other once again, each of you dealing a single, terrible, lethal blow. Wait, does that mean we're dead? <gasps> or rather, about to be dead. As your blade pierces her sternum, the princess buries her fist into the soft meat of your organs. You feel a few horrifically painful pops, a gush of fluid, and it's over. It's finally over. No, it's not. We're just getting started. But it is what? Stubborn? over. Dead is dead. I know this isn't the happiest ending for you, but you saved the entire world from ruin. Rage there beyond death, pretend. let's go. <laughs> I was, that was my thought too. I'm like, yes, one yes, HP. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to listen to him? Or are you going to listen to me? Get up. Get up. Wait, no, that can't be right. Your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. Alive. Ha! I told you. I told you this wasn't over. What about her? Holy the blade shit. Went right her heart. What about her? If we're fine, then she's fine. No, she's she is now. Dead. She has to be. No! <laughs> Sorry, no. narrator. <laughs> We're all shit out of luck, aren't we? I knew it. I told you we should all believe in her. This is perfect. The princess rises from the ground, staggering slightly, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade still buried in her heart. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Let's go again. <laughs> oh, good, good for them. <laughs> they, they, they've just good unlocked infinite combat mode. She pulls the weapon from her chest barely wincing, and hurls it at your feet. You know what to do. Again! But she came back. What's the point of fighting her if she can just do that? All of you need to settle down. This whole situation is coming dangerous. <laughs> Narrator's like, she clearly shut the fuck out! You just <laughs> missed her heart, that's all. Oh, we just missed her heart. Oh, of course, that's all. You were the one who said we hit her heart. You were the one who said it was finally over. Sorry you lost all your power, narrator. Well, I guess I had it wrong. You guess you had it wrong? Are you supposed <laughs> oh, to know the everything? The hero's like, oh. I never said I knew everything. Close to untethering? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It, it means nothing. I shouldn't have said that. But you Ooh. did say it. So it means something. Oh, stop bickering over nothing. Our destiny is right in front of us. <laughs> Pick up the blade. I'm laughing at chat. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, fine. That is what I meant by untethering. Do you hear him rambling on about destiny? He's lost the thread. And if you lose the thread, you won't be able to save the world. And what is that supposed to mean? I don't have to sure. answer that. And I'm not going to answer that. Why the bloody hell not? Because right now, 
there's still a razor-thin chance that you're able to get your act together. There are patterns of thought out there that beg to be finished, but once you finish them, that's it. They change everything. There's no going back, and if I say anything else, you're going to finish one of those thoughts. Interesting. I love hearing that articulated, Whoa. actually. What? That is interesting. The princess can't die. The princess can't die. Ooh. The princess can't die. The princess can't die. That's the thought he doesn't want us to have. You mean yep, like yep. the princess can't die? Don't you? Well, it's too late for that. I think we've all thought that one. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any other ones? I'm not going to say the princess can't die. I'm not even going the to think it. Why? The princess can't die. Yeah. Why? Oh, fuck. I'm oh, sorry. God. I don't even know if there are variants here, but I love that. Um, I love that so much. But if by th I wonder if it still counts. I wonder uh, if it still uh, counts. Like, That's equally well, interesting. It's but it's a lie. I know. We, we don't believe it. Which but means we that are we expressing it. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'm going to do it. You did think Okay. It didn't you? Nope, it still counts. I tried, you know. Yeah, it still can't. Yeah. I tried very hard to make this work. I, uh... I don't like that resignation. Are you sure we can't just unthink it? Yes. <laughs> like I said, I'm afraid some thoughts can't be unthought. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to pour myself a stiff drink. <laughs> if I'm going to see the end of everything, I'd rather not be sober. So I was right. Where are you going to get Why a drink? So that is like, I had the same thought. <laughs> <We get twisted. laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, has he I been like on the phone the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> He's just in a little you're, apartment. Like <laughs> You're a shattered husk of a raven god creature in a demiplane off somewhere talking to us. Maybe, How are you going maybe, to get a drink, but also sir? apparently he's just some guy in an apartment that's like <laughs> astral projecting out of there. It's like, I mean, it, it, <laughs> you know what's funny is my mind immediately went to, uh, oh, big time spoilers, everybody. Uh, my mind immediately went to Adventure Zone with, uh, uh, John. How he's just, a, he was just a guy and then made himself way, 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 not a guy anymore. Yeah, I mean, I think that's like, definitely accurate. It's just that, like, similar. It, yeah, it's just, it's the, it's the literal dual manifestation that I think is, like, fascinating here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, things are, uh, yeah. Oh, fascinating. Wow. I love, I loved the, the princess can't die. Ah, that was so cool. But I think it was, that was the so cool. you said, your destiny awaits. Sorry, buddy. No, 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 no. No, hold on. There has to be another way. What if we just leave her down here? What if we run away? What if we convince her not to end the world? You can't reason with her. Ending the world is her fundamental nature. It's not a decision she can flip on and off. It is her. And why exactly can't we leave her down here? Because all it would do is stall the inevitable. And what's wrong with stalling? Oh, there's plenty wrong with stalling. The end is still the end, and I'd rather face mine head on. Oh, you mopey ass. <laughs> Why did you even ask us to slay her if it was going to end like this? Because it didn't have to end like this. If you don't mind, I'd rather not spend everyone's last moments arguing with you. It's time. Yes, I suppose it is. If, if we fight her forever, then maybe she can't end the world. Maybe everything can still work out. I guess we'll just have to see how things play out. <laughs> Fight forever. Don't get it. You don't have to shuffle your feet. What comes next is going to last forever. All right, join your adversary. With yeah. unbreakable <laughs> determination, you snatch the blade from the floor and stumble back to your feet. Both you and the princess quake with adrenaline as your eyes lock across the basement floor and share a knowing look. Free from hesitation, you close the distance, both you and the princess aiming to end each other. Your blade digs into her neck, grinding against her vertebrae as her fist connects with your body. The impact forces the air from your lungs, stars dancing in front of your eyes as you fail to keep your bearing. You both collapse to the ground before either of you has a chance to survey the damage. And then we get up. <laughs> yes. Holy shit. <laughs> this up. is... So wild! This one's wild. This, is, this is fun. This route is so good. Oh my god. That was a good one. 
more. I feel like last time we got the very like emotionally resonant, horrific and harrowing ones. And this time we're getting the, the whack and fun lore ones where the narrator's just like, oh God, I mean, I guess I'll tell you what's going on. Like, Cause I don't. I, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, the narrator's like, I guess I have to describe this, huh? Uh-huh, I like, guess this so. Is you've made. <laughs> Boy, you've uh... put the chain on, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this oh. is fun. This is fun. These are all, all of these are fun. These are so Slay interesting. Slay the princess! princess exchange <gasps> dozens of devastation blows. Sometimes you manage to strike first, and sometimes she tears through you before you have a chance to act. But more often than not, each of you fells the other in the same moment. And then you get up and do it again. And again. And again. And again. I like that hoof shot. I right like there. that hoof, I know! That's a good hoof! Good, That's a good hoof! hoof. <gasps> oh. We're all still here. This is all gonna be okay. Isn't it? Isn't it? But he doesn't answer the voice. He'll never answer. He's gone. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. Do you think this is... What is this place? Did we do this? Huh. I didn't think we had it in us. But I guess that stuck-up control freak was right. It's the end of the world, isn't it? It's the end of everything. Far from it. We're still here. And she's still here too. The princess stumbles and her body slumps. I feel so... tired. There you go, ma'am. That one was a lot of fun. That one was a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that shifting mound. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. We had a good time. Uh, we, we uh, you know, <laughs> we approve of this one. <laughs> yeah. It's our little stamp of approval. Some of the ones we send to you, we're not sure about. This one's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's our stamp of approval. Yeah. <laughs> Where did she go? Uh, Is that a... This... Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. So stubborn. I know. So good. Ugh. Yes, we've Unraveled. unraveled. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, how do you feel about hey. this one? We like it, so we thought you would too. We like this one, ma'am. <laughs> Any thoughts? Be how do you feel about it? This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now I feel a will pushing against mine, not realizing that we are one. She will make for a fierce heart. I love the idea of like that one personality that won't mesh with the hive mind. <laughs> it's just like, no, yeah, that fight, 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 fight. <laughs> it's like, all right, calm like, down. It's like that one intrusive thought that you kind of always have that won't go away. That's like, yeah. But what if I just punch? <laughs> you're like, no, 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 stop. no, 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 I want to hear the uh, next line. Do not mourn her. We will provide her with the growth she fought for. Yeah! Cool. That one's good. Cool. Okay. Respected All by right. the, the, the shifting mound. That one was great. Yeah. That one was so good. Loved that uh, one. Great fun. Is there, is there any way to bounce out of the adversary into a chapter three, do we think? Do we I'm think we sure. can get some... <sighs> Can uh, we try, sure can we try and slay the adversary? Strong. Yeah, uh, okay, let's jump into the adversary and see see what we got. Okay. Um, We could enter the blade basement without the, the blade. Don't take the blade. She'll be so disappointed. She will be disappointed. <laughs> no knife this time. Right then, fisticuffs it is. Probably more fair to her anyway. Wouldn't want to feel like we cheated our way to a win. <laughs> as long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. The door to the bay. Her fear. Is that a This okay. isn't what good. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just yeah, make yeah, sure yeah, as yeah. you descend the final. Looks like she's got those chains around. Oh, it's you again. But no little knife this time, huh? No. And I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. Have you heard all that? Okay, you look different. So you do remember me. Actually, I'm just here to chat. Uh, here to yeah, I'm just you. here to chat. Yeah. Haven't we talked enough? 
Do you really have anything else to say? Or are you just stalling because you're scared I'm going to kill you again? All right. Fine. What? Yeah, you said okay. you don't know whatever brought the... Uh, mm, okay, okay. Right. Of course. He's having his little uh, <laughs> bad time. Um, How about... You got me everything you said was true. Uh... Yeah, let's try that. I yeah. know. You and the princess have been talking about it. You don't have to be so snarky. Um, okay. Not saying I'm not here to fight you, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first. Sure. Let's keep exploring. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not, and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't worry, I'm always up for a good fight. In fact, the only reason I came down here without a weapon is because having a knife felt unfair. Oof. Oh, that's fascinating. Uh, the blade's upstairs, I'll yeah. be right back. I don't know what happened to you since the last time we met, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye, we can turn around and leave. We can just turn around and leave. Oh, she'll, yeah. She'll pull herself leave. free. Yeah, I don't know what happened to you since the last time, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye! <laughs> oh, you've got another thing coming if you think you can just turn around and leave. Yeah. The stairs, yeah. You hear the heavy creak of straining metal, and then a snap. She's loose. You have to make a decision, and you have to make it fast. <laughs> Run like hell. Die. Okay, team, what are we thinking? <laughs> okay, team. Oh, yeah, the hell out. She killed us. Oh, to finish that thought before the princess barrels into you and smashes your body into the rough stone wall. Can I finish my thought now? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Here. So glad we could stick around to hear the end of that. But I'm afraid that's all the time you had left. Why, for the love of everything, did you stop to think? What did you expect you'd come up with? It doesn't matter because everything goes dark and you die. Great job. Surely that is a... <laughs> no. Come on, Wait. we can't be dead. Oh. We didn't even get a chance to fight her. Dead is dead, but maybe you'll have better luck next time. Chapter three, the fury. Oh, the fury. Okay, well, there Ooh. you go. All we had to do was die. <laughs> this is really ah! feeling like a... <laughs> Look at this, flesh, flesh Change of plans. We're Ugh. taking the blade this time, and we're not hiding upstairs. This really is a annoy Johnny Sim simulator. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> it's powerful. It it it, it feels it makes me feel very powerful. I have a lot of like strength in my hands. Who cares about the blade? Oh if hey, we had broken. A okay. Her, we already missed it, didn't we? She got stronger, and we stayed the same. We've seen her bleed. Whatever she is, she started out mortal, which means she probably is still mortal, which means we can win. We just didn't take things seriously enough last time. If that's what you want, then fine. Enjoy being beaten to death again and again and again. You're stuck here with us too. For all you know, we'll never get to leave this place until we get it right. Well, this is just great. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cut to the chase. <laughs> Clearly, you've already been here. This is what I mean, right? It's just, it feels great. Pissing it's, the narrator off is such a, a wonderful pastime. I do yeah. miss that last narrator. I really like the, the narrator in The Adversary. I feel like he's having a rough time, but I still really enjoyed his narration. Yeah, that one was really good. I also enjoyed the uh, pathetic narrator as well. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of like, God, <laughs> well, this... I'm sad. This is sad. Yeah. This might as well happen, I guess. Well, this music kind of. Yeah, it's good. Rocks. This one's good. Yeah. Both of yeah, both the adversary think? and this one have great. I music. agree, 100. percent Sorry. Also, I want to say I, I, I when I was bashing the the music for the prisoner, I love the music in this game. I think it is excellent. I just thought that that one ambient sound was very confusing. The rest of the time, it's very very good. No, it, it was specifically confusing for you because it sounded like your pets yes, getting into things. exactly. So I understand. <laughs> yeah. 360 sound was throwing me off. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we have been here. This is all different, isn't it? That's a good point. Everything here is a little 
off. Yes, a little? precisely. And if you'd given me Lushy. two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. <laughs> oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods if reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen to me. That's not really an answer. <laughs> Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Don't worry. We only need this one last go at this. You'd better hope that's true. And don't let that inflated ego get in the way of doing your job. What's the point? We might as well just give up. The stakes keep getting higher and we keep getting smaller. Oh, cut it out, will you? We need to be tough right now. And you're making it so much harder than it has to be. So stop whining. You said yourself that you know more than you're letting on. If you want me to go to the cabin, then you better tell us everything. Feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You'd better all listen to me when the time comes to make a choice. If I don't slay her, if I just stay here, or do anything else, and we hit this point of no return, then what happens? No matter what happens next, it seems like our answer's in the cabin. Want to go through these? These are interesting. Yeah, these are all interesting, actually. Yeah. I can't. Anything I say at this point is far more likely to accelerate the unraveling of this place than it is to actually help you do your job. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even said that. I trust that if you've been here before, it means you know mm -hmm. how dangerous she is. And that you know I'm not lying to you about her. Really? That's it. That's all we're getting out of you. Even now, you're full of secrets. We're doomed, aren't we? I get it. You're conflicted. You've been through a lot, but I really have to be firm here. I will tell you one thing, which is that even now, you are capable of stopping her and saving the world from ruin. You always have been, and you always will be. Sorry, do with that what you will. Sorry, I just clicked too soon. Hmm. Uh, it feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You so say that? If I'm speaking my mind, it's not like I've ever really got the same thing. Let's keep it that way. I don't trust this one. I don't think you have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge here, and I don't think that's ever going to change. Cap. Yeah. Uh, if I don't slay her, what happens? Yeah. Then what happens? Have you even been listening? It's the end is what happens. Yeah, but is there something after the end? How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there. If there even is a there, it doesn't matter because we're going to win. Now that's exactly the sort of mindset I like to see. <laughs> Don't let yourself be consumed with self-doubt. Don't flirt with oblivion. Just focus on the present and everything will be absolutely fine. Um, okay, onto the cabin? Yeah, let's go to the cabin. Yep. It's good. We're all on the same page. Blishy! It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. End her. I love these little, like, fleshy, shiny shines. I really like yeah, how they're the, depicted. Yeah. The fleshy shines are good. I like that the trees are like fleshy hand finger yes. appendages. Agreed. They look like, like claws on the end. Yeah, they look like bat wings without the without the wing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can oh what what is the princess going to look like? Holy Great shit. question. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's what no I keep thinking words about. Of advice? This is what our rather not waste environment looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. Well, especially because they're all hyping themselves up. Like, <laughs> everybody's afraid and we haven't even seen her yet. Yeah. Which I love. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine by me. Let's get moving. I'm itching for a rematch. And you've got the final boss music going. Like, love this. Yeah. It really fucking rules. The interior of the cabin is a place Ooh. that feels long forgotten. Tall mirror. There was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof, vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. 
but that is how it was. <sighs> now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. Yeah, There's a lot going on in this room. There is. There's a lot going on in There's this room. There's polyps. <laughs> We've got polyps and like veiny growths and yeah. a trough for blood and Love viscera this. in the middle of the room. Yeah. That I'm assuming just feeds down to the fury. Probably. Uh, ugh. Ugh. Question is, are Great. these parts of her or not? Is she is she a big like like elder that, brain high, you know. <laughs> what's yeah, that? What's that was, horrible brood mother from Dragon Age? <laughs> oh no! Why would you bring that up? <laughs> no. I'm sure. I'm sure she's gonna look exactly like that. <laughs> oh god! Why did you make me remember her? Oh, Ugh. the worst. Gross. <laughs> Gross. It doesn't this matter. Is the, this is a monster just made of boobs, right? This yeah, the it's the big, like, it's the big horrible boob monster. Yes, it's just twenty boobs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is some kind of body horror. Something going on there. <laughs> the only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Is it gonna work in this case? I mean, I <laughs> why not at this point? It's a mirror again, and it's time. It's blocking the door. You didn't mention the mirror. How are we supposed to get down to the basement? Take the blade, approach the mirror. I'm gonna take the blade. Take, a take, the take the fucking, take the blade. Why not? <laughs> take the blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. Okay, approach okay. the mirror. All right, let's go. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it, almost as if you don't see it. But you must, because it's right there in front of you. All we see is a damn mirror. It's a bit grimy. Why don't we wipe it clean? Wipe what clean? The door? The mirror. What are you talking about? You're standing in front of a door. Whatever non-door thing you think you're looking at, it isn't real, because if it were real, I'd know about it. But it has to be real. It's right there. Let's just smash it and get it over with. Hmm. I'm ready to get violent. I never we won't quite... be able to see what's in there if we smash yeah. it. I never quite made the connection. Uh, maybe you know this, like why the narrator cannot see the mirror. Why can't the narrator see the mirror? Because I think the mirror is like part of us was my oh, assumption. Right. And I guess the narrator is completely separate and is a uh, an echo and a figment. Exactly, and... but it's not one of our, our voices. Okay. R right, 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 right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or unless unless the unless the narrator like is the mirror. Well, I mean, or, at know. the end, there's the broken pieces in which we can see the narrator, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do whatever you right, want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. Um, smash it? it it'll disappear, probably, but I'll try. Smash it. It'll you probably your fist yeah. crashing down against the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open. Yeah scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the darkness. I'm so intrigued. The stairs to see leading down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. Gross! You feel both unprotected and trapped. At once Whoa. exposed and claustrophobic. Yeah, I hate that. Can you imagine how it smells? No! Why would you <laughs> again? Why would you say that? Because why would I'm you add another it? sense <laughs> to this? And I thought I'd drag you down with me. <laughs> no! Gross! The air is thick. It's odor yeah. of oppressive violence. The metallic Ugh. scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. 
If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Oh, her voice, fucking line. Like bellowing rage, <laughs> roars up the stairs. So you've returned after denying me the salvation of combat? Are she you here to gloat? Are you here to mock what I've become? Do you oh, think wow. that if you let me kill you enough times, I'll suddenly soften and repent for sins that live solely in your head? Well, we've Holy tried shit. that, haven't we? Now come down and see what your refusal has done to me. See how much you can bear to witness the consequences of your actions. She's so mad. But I she's don't she's so mad and loud. Oh my god. Just give up. Blade, no blade, it's all the same. We can't beat her. Not anymore. I mean, you're probably right, but don't will that into the in, into existence. <laughs> like, not. Yeah? I like my bad girly. <laughs> <laughs> Berries. <laughs> oh, she's so mad and You're loud. Just a I want to see. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, let's All right. Uh, let's, let's go see what we're dealing with. You make your she's way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's Ooh! walls are painted Whoa! in blood. A deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. Really not what I expected. I, th Whoa. I expected her to be part of the wall. I expected her to be like a a, a true like Cronenberg flesh yeah. mound. Yeah, me too. Thing. Me too. Exactly. I thought I thought this would all be flesh and like her chain was just basically that she had built into the wall at this point. Instead, she's just Whoa. like a, a a sexier demon, which a is bigger, a choice. Bigger, sexier, uh, <laughs> fleshier. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Not even fleshier. Less flesh. Less flesh. Less flesh. She's, she's more like flayed. Uh, yeah, like. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, I, I, I less less uh, grotesque uh, than I was expecting. Less grotesque. I agree. Gross, but kind of cool. Her dress is really cool. It's like torn flesh. Yeah, it's very Her clearly chest skin. Is ripped open. Yes. Whoa. Okay, this is a cool design. I don't know how they managed. Oh, sorry. Muscles so flayed and bare and weeping draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Whoa. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. I don't know how they managed to like combine the like like the sexy giant demon with the body horror so successfully, mm -hmm. but it like works. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I think like, it works quite well. Yes. Fascinating. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? Not really, but I mean, no, I'm I feeling my skin back, maybe? Also, still cloven hooves, but now with like a bone heel, which is fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> Easier to stand. There's not so much oh. a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. And then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. Look, it's it's hand skin. Love it. Oh, it's puddle. on the ground. A little puddle on the ground. Yep, yep. Delicious. Wow. She Delicious. is loose, and she is coming for you. What can we even do against someone? Such power, such beauty. Yeah, go for it, broken. Try flirting. Yeah, let's see if like, that's yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Broken's like, let's fucking go. Stop that. We can win. We just have to lose our fear. Oh gosh, okay. What happened oh, to you? Boy. Oh, Wait, God. we don't have to do this. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what I did to you. Please just listen to me. I'm gonna end you. Slay the princess. Slay the princess. Let her end you. Whoa. Do we wanna do we wanna be like, wait! Oh, make a save! Make a save! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what I did to you. If you're sorry, then you'll stand and fight. I don't Say want like a sniveling coward. I want to squeeze the life out of a ferocious heart. She bounds across the room, her oh, fists she ready, so cool. her heart Gorgeous, yeah. set upon your destruction. Fuck. With a horrifying <gasps> you are unwound. Ugh, gross. Oh, feathers. That's a description. Feathers. Feathers. I hope you and weren't planning on dying. Everything. We're going to make this last forever. 
Huh. I oh. feel cold. <laughs> How'd you mess I've up never that heart, man? Cold before. <laughs> Why? Wow. How'd they really? get her? Wait, how did they get her? What? Is how? it when well, we're was completely so unwound? Is okay, so is that one of the in the in states? Yeah, we cease to exist. If yeah. we well not even yeah, like you know the the narrators wow. use the word unwound multiple times, yeah. uh, like a, quite a few times. So maybe one of the negation states is that we get completely unwound, meaning yeah. that we we lose the ability to process a world in which we aren't whatever we are. Like uh, we're we're not dead. We're not in combat. We're not like we we think one of those unthinkable things. Yes, yes, which then goes bloop, and that just shunts us to the long quiet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna reload okay. and see if we can get a longer version of this. Do you, uh, do you wanna can do you wanna see what the shifting mound thinks of the fury? I and can't. Then I figure we're gonna end up back here with the fury. You know later. what? That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I wanted to look just in case. Okay. But yeah, if you're cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I've been unraveled. It feels the most appropriate now. Yeah, this time that makes sense. Yeah. All right, ma'am, what do you think of this one? Beast. She's so big. Yeah. Josh, this she's one so cool. is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you, yet it is she who unwound herself. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. She will make for a burning heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. Okay. Oh. Okay. So she unwound herself. We were unwound, but she unwound herself. Yeah. Um, in her fury, it's it's what tore her apart. Yeah. Okay. We're going to slay the princess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Let's just go. Your heart free of fear. You charge towards the princess. Your eyes locked on each other. Both of you prepared to lay down your very essence in one blow. It's now or never. Let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. The horrifying. Yep. <laughs> oh, we are also unwound. Wound. I hope you weren't planning on dying. Huh. huh. Oh, is there a way out of this, or is she yeah, just like is she? She's already that... unwound, and therefore it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Let her end you is probably gonna un unwound the blade us, to unwind from us again. Your nervous fingers, as you stand, arms outstretched, facing the bleeding princess as she barrels towards you. The horrifying. Yeah, I don't. This I don't think we're planning on dying. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. That's maybe this like. one's just just what it is you know wow maybe sometimes you just get wrecked like maybe it's just like what are you supposed to do <laughs> yeah. i mean if you if you think about it actually if we step back and think about like essentially the the meta to the narrative here like we have created an unrelenting fury yeah like, she's already she unwound a, by the time we got yeah. here yes she like she is unraveling her body is unraveling she is so um she's the complete embodiment of just furiousness that there is no way to you know uh, uh surmount that in any yeah way. and if we like, if we think know. about it with the with the adversary all we had to do was think the princess can't be killed and it was over and this is yes. a post-adversary world, you know what I mean? So right, it, it, yeah. it, it was over. I think that's why we got, frankly, all of this hyping themselves up from the narrator and all of our voices because they all knew it, 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 this is not something you recover from. There's yeah, there's no going back from this. We've created this is a truly unendable thing. Yeah, um, that we've made because we've gone from the adversary to this, like you said. Like, yeah, this is one. This is already done. the the transformer. Okay, I'm gonna. Time happened. Oh, rad you happened, but none of that matters. We're together again, and I'll have what you denied me. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. All right, we already know what's gonna happen here. I can yep. finish it, yep. but we've already seen our our organs come out a number of times. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that was cool. That one was hype. Yeah. That one was really cool. Like uh, the adversary into the fury was really interesting. That I feel like so we hype. learned a ton from that, and also like the adversary was just so fun. 
That was so, it was so fun. It was pretty horny the whole time too. But also like the the like oh I need to fight you like ah uh, just ah uh, I felt myself the whole time like like grinning like with all my teeth and like my I'm like like I said punching the air and like sort of like oh my god it's I was just so hyped up the whole time. It was great. I was so here for it. One thing if anyway. we're cool with that. What are you what are you doing? Oh what are you doing? I'm gonna not take the blade. I'm sure it's the same, but I'm just gonna not take the blade. Okay, I, yeah, I imagine she's gonna be like, what, really? Slice I can't imagine then... this makes a, a difference. The only reason I'm gonna try it is because I think this might be, I could be misremembering. It is one of the only times we've gotten to chapter three and we've still had this choice. Usually they just, they remove it in chapter three. They're just you like, oh, they throw it out the window or it's just not there or, you know. That is valid. Let's, uh, let, I, I, you step forward. Valid that it is a choice Holy still. Spit. Yeah. What the middle? What are you, but let's just we won't be yeah. Like I said, I, I think I think canonically we're we're so you far past it that it doesn't matter, but forward. might as well mm -hmm. check it out. Do you Okay. You make your way to the bottom of the stair. The chamber's wall, the princess stands in its Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's not so much yeah, I guess we just... hesitation mm. before All she right, steps we'll forward. Her chains pulled taut, holding fast. Okay, she's gonna rip her skin off. Okay, yeah, delicious. She is loose. You glove her arm. Ah! Stop that. We don't even. It doesn't matter. That's like the worst medical term of all time. I gotta say. <laughs> when you think about it. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't imagine. There's no. I. Uh... Please listen to me. You want to try no. and talk to her? No more words. There is only the truth of violence left between us. She bounds okay. across the room. All right. Her fists yeah. ready. Her. All right. It was worth a shot. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Totally, totally, totally. Okay. So. Ooh. Is it time Anything? for our final our final run? Do it we think? might be. Do we think that we would? Do you think it's smart to take a quick break right now then? Sure. And then go into our final run? What do you think? Yeah, I think- It feels like a little early for a break, but also it feels like we're gonna go into our final run and we're gonna do our, our you know, our boss fight there. Um, or we could, uh, we could try for like one more chapter before we like roll out. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we could try. Uh, we haven't I mean gotten the hunted. Yeah, Which I don't. I don't know, know what would get exists. us the hunted. Is the problem? I, that's my my only. This isn't a good or bad thing. I don't know how to chase down specific. Like, I, okay, let's think about things we haven't done. We haven't really messed with not going to the cabin. We've only done that once, so I'm sure yeah. there's more variants there. I'm sure. I'm certain. And I said this to you after last stream. I think I am certain. We are missing something big on the don't take the knife down in chapter one side of things. I'm just certain sure. of it because we haven't, I feel like we haven't gotten very many branches over there. Um, yeah. And now that you've said both of those things, here's something that I'm thinking about. I wonder if there is a, like, if, the, if there's a route where, you know, in either one of those, where she gets out and she like comes for us or something. Like we try to run, but there's nowhere to run to. And you know, I just her don't know being where there's there is no approaching to entropy. Run. She eventually breaks out and gets us or something. Well, but if she breaks know. out, that then the long quiet hits. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but I mean, I'm saying if she gets out and kills us in some way, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm thinking of some sort of cowardly uh route you know where we fucking totally chicken out and we're like oh no she's so scary and we declare her really scary i mean you know? i feel like maybe maybe if we uh we haven't tried to slay the princess without the dagger I don't know if that... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't know. I, we've just never tried that. One thing I was thinking of trying, but I have a funny feeling that we may have just gotten it in a different way, is, like, I wanted to try not lying to the princess when we enter the basement in Chapter 1 and instead telling her we're there to slay her. We've actually never tried that. And I was wondering oh, yeah. if that would change things. 
Um, yeah. But but I think I have a feeling that might lead us to here. I don't know if there's a different route to get to um, her her ripping our organs out, but like this seems very like like destined foes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we could try going into the, the basement without a knife and see see what we can muck around and find. Um, we can try... I mean, the only idea, the only run... It, truly being a coward is not... Is is going the sort of stranger route where we, we run away from the cabin. I mean, I think we also... That's true. There's a lot of, like... Let me see if I can even get one. No, we always we save after it, don't we? Um, I was gonna say, there's almost every chapter two has a what if we just run away option. That sort of cowardly. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, maybe we get to chapter two and then we try to run. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Aww. I like your idea of exploring the, the, what is it? The no knife? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. I like the idea of exploring that. Okay. Um, well, yeah. let's take a break. Also, oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Sorry, also, I didn't yeah, catch appreciate. You off. No, you're good. I was just gonna say, yeah, appreciate you guys chat. We are gonna just, uh, we're gonna poke around. Uh, I appreciate the um, want for hints, but we are gonna see if we can just figure some. Yeah, stuff out we, on our we own. are we are explicitly yeah. not asking for hints. Um, but yeah, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it though. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, okay. So we'll take a break. We'll come back and then maybe we'll do like, like you said, we'll mm, massage a few other areas of this game, see if we can like trigger anything else. And then yes, we'll go back to our original, uh, you know, uh, I guess four loops and do the last, the fifth well, one. Well, yeah, cause we, we have to leave one of our final ideas for the fifth loop. We still have to do something in that fifth loop. That's true. Oh, good point. Good yeah. point, good point, good point. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm like, <laughs> my, my gears are turning. We will be back in just a few minutes. Everybody jump up, uh, go to the bathroom, stretch, get a drink of water, get a snack, and we'll see you in just a few. See you in just a sec. Welcome back from break, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. I went and got some more wine and I got to pet my kitty. And that's it. <laughs> I, I, I pet Corey, had some water, and also made a uh, fun discovery. And that fun oh. discovery is that we have, uh, after almost two full playthroughs and a bunch of dabbling, unlocked roughly a third of the achievements in this game. So, Whoa! yeah, uh, yeah Whoa! there's still a lot of games. So I bring that up to say that this this is not and was never going to be a completionist playthrough. We're having a yeah. ton of fun, but I also think that part of the fun for me uh, a little bit is leaving a bit of meat on the bone so that you all are incentivized to pick this game up for yourself because you should support this fantastic, fantastic game. Absolutely. And I completely agree with that. Uh, I I think, uh, honestly, I think you all should go and like try out your own uh, permutations and see what kind of princesses you can uncover. Uh, yeah, and build your own support princess. Them. <laughs> build your own princess. I'm glad you I'm glad you all have been able to on the meat bone. On the meat. <laughs> leave that on the meat bone uh, <laughs> for later. I, I'm so glad that we've been able to play this and share it with you all. And I'm I'm so happy we've been able to like, honestly, we've gotten through after tonight, especially. Oh, I yeah, yeah. Like we have gotten a bunch. Trust me, I am. Like, I am delighted. I'm feeling. I'm. I'm getting to the point where I am personally feeling like sated, um, yes, but I'm also excited yeah. that like I know there's so much more out there. Uh, so I'm. I'm looking forward to to discussing it with folks and hearing how people like unlock their own routes and all of that. Yes, I'm, I'm very, very excited. Um, and I'm just God. I've enjoyed this game. Agreed. Gosh, I've enjoyed and this I game. It's been so 
so good and i i truly highly encourage you all to go out and support these creators and support this game and give it a playthrough and uh check it out for yourself i i had a funny experience at work while i was telling one of my coworkers about it and just going off like in in my meeting and, <laughs> and they were like allison allison you could stop talking i i bought the game like two minutes into you talking about it <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. I will. I, I've I've started talking to people about this game, and like once you open that tap, it's very hard to close. I, I, I will say, this is one of those games. I, I love games, and and games are so much of my I life. You know, I work in the games industry. We we stream games, we record games, I play them on my own time. Games are are such a big part of my life. Um. But also, you know, the games industry can be difficult sometimes. And, you know, there are so many games and it's hard to, to play all of them. And you see, you know, people get it, you know, the mass layoffs in the industry and all of that. And I am so thankful for games like this because they remind me of, of why I love interactive media so much. There's just nothing quite like it. 100% agree. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's games like this that sort of reground you and say hey this this medium can be incredible yeah and, and people we can, can do make some such amazing things yeah like we can we can tell incredible stories and do just things that cannot be done in any other form of media and i am so so grateful for games like this that say no 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 it's okay like we're going to we're making amazing shit mm -hmm. and yeah i'm just I, and it's so just the the sheer art of it all yeah and not to and like also I, I know we're not we're sort of doing our deep dive before we even finish That's this okay. game but but i want to say too like i know that the uh like the development of this game is so fascinating and interesting as well because all of these like assets are handmade and hand drawn and and then scanned in and like animated in parallax like just the the sheer amount of like just uh, care and work and love that went into this not to say that that's not the case for all games like you know whether it's made traditionally or or you know digitally mm -hmm. but the the commitment to the the art form for this one is like really unparalleled and i just want to call that out no i completely agree i completely agree holy shit the art in this has been just like off the wall mm -hmm. and the yeah the level of detail and care of like i was saying before like all of the unique assets that you encounter like all the unique variations of the princess and uh god and it, unique it's like, lines and unique the amount lines. of writing that they did in order to account for every possible pre-existing answer it, god. It, it, it really like i remember after our first stream my leg was bouncing like you wouldn't believe and when, yes. we, when we shut off the recording uh you and i were both like oh my god oh my god oh my god this is it <laughs> this is it this is like the this is why this is why we do this um so yes. anyway, yeah. I, I, ah, uh, I've, I'm just, I've really, really enjoyed this. It's an amazing little masterpiece. It mm -hmm. really, really is not also not to mention the, the writing and the storytelling and what they are, what they are saying and making with this narrative as well. You know, mm -hmm. like I, I, my mind keeps going back to. Uh, uh, our our last stream, which was what the thorn and what came before the thorn, it was um, it was the, the thorn first, uh, then the gray, and then the um, the the nightmare well, into the, the what's its name? Well, there was one before the thorn. We, that was right? the wraith. Triggered... No, that was that was the previous stream. Oh, uh, oh, are you, oh, is that true? Okay, oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm just thinking of that section and how how real it felt oh the witch the witch oh sorry i thought you meant thorn. endings sorry oh sorry sorry yeah yeah oh, the chapter that got us to the thorn mm -hmm. which was the witch um uh apologies just that whole uh progression felt like 
the realest uh, metaphor to like relationships I feel like we've had so far in this game. Like a lot of them have. Like there, it's this game is such a, a fascinating exploration of relationships and uh, you know w whether they are like toxic relationships or not, or just you know make, not even like a just in general like exploring. Yeah, I, I think how it's also people not. Uh, necessarily, it, uh, when we say relationships, I, I, don't I don't think it's about uh, romantic relationships necessarily. No. I think it's about no. the different ways that people can relate to one another. And, you know, that's uh, why it's the adversary or, you know, the 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 way that the the witch treats you. You, uh, you know, yes, I don't know. That's I, what I mean. I, I think yeah. that's a, a really fantastic structure. Yes. I And I... I 100% agree and I just keep coming back to that section in my mind and thinking about how like it's it's such a a, a great pro like portrayal and distillation of a relationship you know and there are so many of those all throughout this like there's just so much co I, oh, I could talk about this game forever uh it is the conclusion i've come to <laughs> no i i <laughs> am a hundred percent there with you um oh. i will say that over over break alice and i chatted very very briefly and i think we know yes. what we're gonna try to do for the the final effectively two rounds so i've yes. loaded up just the the arbitrary this old save um, because it's at the sure. beginning of a, a loop. It's in a beginning of chapter one. So let's go ahead and try to, to see if we can uncover anything new on the no knife route. And then sure. we'll load up our final save uh, and pick our final route uh, to end our, our playthrough. Yes. Yeah. And we have an idea of what we want to do, but we'll you tell you when we get the there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to just get okay. us downstairs yep. with no knife. No okay. blade. Down with no knife. Okay. okay. Um. Just checking in on you. You are? It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. Mm-hmm. You walk down the street. Okay. I am. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, you want to do that, or do, or do we want to? I guess we don't want to talk first because we've already done that, right? I I just know we've never selected this option. Yeah. All right, I go think. for it. I don't think so. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you, thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Hmm. Um, I guess there's okay. no... Well... Do we want, I guess... So what I'm trying... Uh, uh, what I, I'm trying to do what I said before before break is like, is there a way to try to to slay her without the knife? Oh, oh. Yes. Let, let, let me see. Okay. okay. Someone... We're going to go back downstairs. You make is your way possible? to the bottom of the stairs. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. There's a slight panic. Rising and if I could just get out of these chains, she bears as she rips okay, off flesh. She tries to do that. Or the knife's won't. here. Oh, this forces us to pick up the knife. Okay. Have we ever? We haven't. Have we done this? I think so because I think this kicks off. Um. Oh 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 Is oh! This I'm witch? not sure now. Yeah, I think it kicks off the the witch. But what if you try and say wait? If we try and save her, we've already done that before while she's... Yeah, because if we slay her now, it's going to do the witch. Yeah. Hmm. But if, so what I if we try what... and save her now? What does that get us? That gets us the damsel. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, so maybe yeah. what I was describing isn't possible. Okay. I don't know. Uh, unless, what if it's a... Uh... What if we what if we bring the knife in and we do a variation of getting rid of the knife? 
I mean, the, the whole point is to, did to explore the non knife route. Um, yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you want to try and load back again and see if there's something in there. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I can, yeah, that's fine. I can try. Sorry. Yeah, I don't I, mind. No, no, you're good. Yeah, maybe huh. maybe what I was trying to get is not possible. I just I don't know. No, I I, know, I understand. Yeah. Let me let me see. We let's we can talk with her and see if there's any other. Um. Okay. Let's see. What if what if we lie and say I'm here to save you, but we're actually here to kill her, but we don't have the knife. Maybe that kicks off something else. Wait, really? You're here to- I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. That could work. Okay, wanna, okay, all try right. That? I'm going to try the same you thing walk with that. Yeah. And lock eyes with the yeah, since we I lied, maybe Hi. this changes our intention something to down deal here. With these ch you were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but- Regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Hmm. I see. Okay. You're only making this. Thank you. You're making no. You did walk up to the chains. They're large and heavy. I'm guessing you don't. Maybe it's doubtful. Okay, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Maybe the okay. Or if that doesn't work, I can. She offers. If we were to attempt to make okay. your way. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Damn. All right. Sorry. No, it, was that was interesting. To... That was a that was an interesting idea. Yeah, it's I, also possible there, there that there's there's like I don't know, th this isn't a, a route that works. You may... yeah, but if so, yeah. I'm curious what else there is on the no knife side. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm gonna lie again. Hey, I... come down. You walked. Okay. I am back. Hi. I hope you. Hold on. Let's talk first. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do we have the option to try and... That's what, I, that's what I'm looking. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to get you out of here. Or... Don't make me regret oh, wait. this. It, go, up and go back and retrieve the blade without saying another word. That's interesting. I mean, we that haven't done these. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, but oh yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't trust you. Yeah, that's or uh, the keeper locked away. We I think will trigger the the keeper locked away. Yeah, route this, hmm. but this is literally going back up and getting the knife. So that's not exactly what you wanted. No, but it is. It is interesting. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, she just changed to the knife oh, route. Oh, you yeah. I guess you're right. I regret this. I promise you. But go ahead, run along and get whatever you're planning to get. But you'd better hope that I don't slip these chains before <gasps> this you is new? make it. Oh, there we go. Is she going to chase us out? She can't, right? Hey, it might be a she two in one. Help to get out of this is what I wanted. This is what you wanted. This is what I wanted. This is great. <gasps> that, that would be fantastic. She has to be bluffing, but... Hurry. It would be really, really funny if the thi the thing we both expressed wanting is the same route. That actually would be both hilarious. Actually, uh, yes, 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 same yes. brain, different approaches. <laughs> yes. This is the same brain cell, but it's just split in half. Yeah. <laughs> you rush up to the first floor, grabbing the blade, both yours and the world's only possible salvation. This makes sense. Okay. okay. If we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. I suppose we have a world to save after all. If okay. we if we mistrust her, basement stairs. it's quiet. Then that wills into existence the fact that we can't trust her, which means that she's gonna come for us. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. she's a threat. Uh huh. Ah, yeah. now she's a threat. There's only oh, a no! <laughs> It's cooling flesh still chained to the wall. She's on the ceiling. And she is nowhere to be seen. Look up. Is it just me? Look up. Or did this room get a lot bigger? Hello? Oh. I think we got up on the wrong foot. Do you think we can start over? She's lost an arm. I'm locking her down there and letting her bleed out. Let's finish this. 
Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we're gonna make a save. Yes, yes, yes. Um, hello? Hello? Why don't you come closer? <gasps> I have something to show you. It's always fun when we transform her chapter one. <laughs> yes, yes. Always, this always interesting. Oh, this is great. Let's finish this. Yeah, let's finish Your this. Your eyes dart to the corners of the room. You don't see her. Look up! Where is she? Look up! Look up! As you step towards the severed <gasps> limb, you hear the pattering <gasps> of feet behind you, soft against the basement floor, then loud and Ooh. desperate against the stairs. It also would be very funny to lose chapter one. <laughs> Agreed, you yeah. Turn to chase after the princess, but she's fast and has too much of a lead. She slams the door oh, no. behind her before you <gasps> make it to the top of the stairs. The lock clicks into place. No. Well, thanks for letting me out. I'd return the favor, but I think we both know that I can't trust you to let me stay free. You should understand. It just isn't worth the risk. With those parting words, the princess walks away, her quiet footsteps eventually fading as she leaves you and the cabin to rot. Oh. You're stuck here. Alone. It can't just end like this. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. You don't know how much time passes before the end, but eventually it comes. The world ends, and you end with it. Chapter two? No. Oh, this is a witch. Oh, this is a witch. Interesting. Okay, then I'm going to load that. Oh, that was new, though. That is definitely a new get... way to get to the witch. I have something fascinating, though. I wonder if the, if we're on the witch, but wait, but we have somebody else with us. Do you mind checking that? I mean, yeah, it's probably the witch with maybe a different voice. You're on the path. That's what, I, don't what I meant, but then you can load back. I just wanted it to has, see who's here. If he doesn't really end, we need to keep our cards close oh, to our okay. chest, and I'm not okay, okay, sure okay. we can trust him. Yeah. All right, we can load back. Okay. That is interesting. I'm going to lock her down that. here. Do it. This is a dangerous play. Who's to say she'll actually succumb to her wounds? She doesn't have a weapon, and she's missing an arm. You can finish this right here, right now. Lock her away. Let's see. Let's see if this is the same... You close the okay, door, interesting. So, okay. so it looks like both of these might lead to paths we've already hit before. Blade. Okay. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound, and we have all the time in the world. Playing jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start. I know you're still there. Why don't you okay. make things Okay. She sounds. All she right, so this is almost definitely a route already hit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Although, let's see. Although, do we want to do something else here, actually? Yeah, maybe we, we can, can still... Do you think losing an arm is actually enough to do me in? I can always find another. I'm not as... You put the princess's threats out of your mind. You job her as shit. Yeah, get okay. Out right, it's yeah. It's cool, though. It's okay. a different design. Yeah. So that's really neat. Even when you get the same ending, or not ending, but route, it is a completely di a different design. Very cool. The spooky arm as well. Yeah. You try and stumble to your feet. It isn't all at once. Whose side are you on? Okay. Okay. So it looks like oh, maybe this is this this route only leads to things we've already done before. Yeah. Okay. That is cool. That's really neat. Huh. I I actually love that. I, I know it's it's on one hand it's it's disappointing in a way when you hit a route that you already already hit. On the other hand, I really like that there are multiple ways to the same conclusion because multiple yes. actions end up having the same intent and the same effect, which I do think is yeah. genuinely quite interesting. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, and that they can stitch together in different ways. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, where, before you reload, were there was there anything else we could do in that? Um, I just want to make sure. In where we I'm are? I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, otherwise, we can move on to our... I think that path has already chapter. been set. 
Um, okay. I'm gonna try okay. one more from here. I just want to make sure that I, there's Your nothing I. Stop. Where is she? Okay. That's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. You close the door behind close. you. Close Almost the door. magically, its locks immediately click into place. Maybe they'll open if you finish the job. Okay, lock ourselves in here. Investigate the arm. Investigate the out. arm? Let's just Investigate get the, the arm? Well, yeah, they walk into the middle of the room and expose our back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I can wait. Uh, I'm very patient. You do your Ooh. best to patiently wait her out, but eventually, exhaustion starts to set in. Come on, wake up. We can't fall asleep down here. What, a wait or venture? Mm, what are you thinking? Towards the sh I kind of want to go towards the shadows, but I guess she'll just get us. Well, right? yeah, but that's we're gonna get got. It's chapter one. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's venture towards the shadows. the shadows. Too late, you hear the quiet patter of feet against the basement floor, followed by the taut <gasps> pull and sharp pain of tearing flesh as the princess lunges into you from behind and drags you to the floor. The ferocity overwhelms you, and as the princess runs flesh from bone, your Ooh. limp fingers lose their grip on the blade. It slips from your hand, your one last means of defense lying useless beside you in a pool. She's a little more creature. Yes. I suppose yeah. you just lacked the will to fight back. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. You shouldn't Aww. have let that fear creep into your heart. Yeah. You had the upper hand. And now look at you. Now we have everything we have goes fear. dark, and you die. We're torn limb from limb. The beast. The beast. <gasps> That's a new one. That You're is a on new path. one. You're here. Ooh. Okay. All right. There we go. We found one new okay. one before before it. the end. It. There we go. We, we kinda did what we were setting just, out to I, do. I knew there had to be <laughs> something on the on the bladeless route. Um, yeah, you were right. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All okay, right, we got there. We got there. We kind of brute forced it a little we, bit. A but... little bit. We were just like, it's gotta be somewhere. Let's punch a bunch of walls until one yeah, like, falls through. There's something in here. Yeah. Let's see who we got. If he doesn't, if he doesn't there you go. And we got the hunted. Yes. That's what we were going for, baby. I am so, so, so grateful for the razor being first mm -hmm. to show us who can all be there. I agree. Um, it's very, very like, useful to be like, okay, let's quickly catalog who we're looking for. And if yes. we haven't found the hunted, then we know we're missing something. So there yep, we go. Okay, this is, this is great. You're not attracted. Okay. Nobody's forcing you to do anything, though the only sensible thing for you to do right now is march up to that cabin and slay the princess. Let's go to the cabin. Okay. A warning. Yeah, Should yeah, a yeah. cat lie to a mm. cornered mouse when it plays with its freedom? Or is it just acting out its nature? I don't see why that matters. A lie's <laughs> a lie, and if anything, she's the one who's cornered. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us, only what we hear and smell. That's a very roundabout way of saying that you should listen to me and take this seriously. <laughs> okay. Maybe. All right, let's see, right, let's we'll see where we are. What, is, what does the where cabin does the look like now? Live? Yeah. The interior Askew, of the cabin is apparently. ruinous Ooh, and a little, little wacky. It feels like no one has lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. The only furniture of note is a termite-eaten table with a pristine blade perched on its like edge. A like a derelict house that uh, an animal has taken up residence yes, in. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like a oh. like a wild raccoon. The yeah. <laughs> do we the take blade the blade or not? Is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I imagine the hunt. Mm. Okay. I imagine. Day. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> the hunted would be comforted by the blade. I don't know how you talk down a beast. I don't think we're going to be talking very much. Potentially. Let's we'll see. see. Let's take the blade and yeah. see what happens. Take the blade. Yeah. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. The hunted is being very quiet. Mm hmm. Into the well, basement. Hunted is being hunted right now. I guess that's fair. Potentially. The door to the basement creaks open, like a key, revealing what's left of an yeah. old wooden staircase. 
It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece, though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. She growls up the stairs. I can smell you. She sounds almost okay. Okay. feral, impatient. Looks like trees down Maybe. there. Yeah, they said like a jungle. Yeah. You Ooh. carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the damp, ghost floor of a starlit pit. Big, big, the walls tail, tail lying. Darkness, <gasps> giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. You brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. I guess if the witch was already a cat girl and she already had cat eyes in chapter one, this is like, you know. Yes, yeah. That that was just her like her half like anthro form. Now yeah. Gonna get <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what's she gonna be? The is Let's in see. Us. I want to see the Find whole package. View. She could be anywhere. <laughs> this is cool. The princess she away the brush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Remember, she's just a princess. <laughs> she is certainly not. Just a princess. I love the 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 cir- use of the circling chains. Yes. You're not helping. Oh, it doesn't so matter good. what she is. It only matters what she does. Her shining eyes <gasps> appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you from the darkness. Like a sphinx. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. And a little splinter clutched in trembling hands won't save you from me. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move, now. (laughs) Where? Don't you hear that clanking? She's in chains again. We're fine. You're about to attack me, aren't you? I can see right through you. We don't have to kill each other. You know that, right? Move. Stand still. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. How how do we want to parlay with the beast? Ooh, I mean, g- oh. a great question. Um, ooh. Oh, we are a bird. I just re- just suddenly remembered that. Yeah, and she's a bit. That's a why bird. she. I think that's why she's always a cat. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, this music is good too. It is good, oh, man. Um, um, hmm. I mean, we could stand still. Or we could, I oh, mean, I'm afraid yeah. if we say something, she's gonna, she's gonna get us, but I don't know. Let's, let's say, let's stand still. Let's like, try not to reveal our, our yeah. Yeah. I mean, she, but she also was looking at us. Uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was onto something. No, 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 no. <laughs> because like, I think my, I, I had the same thought because I'm like, maybe if we like, <laughs> Like play dead, but standing still <laughs> is maybe silly. I think she can literally see us with her eyes. Yeah, you're. You know right. what I mean? <laughs> like, like, everybody's saying, "Puff up and flap your wings to intimidate <laughs> predators." <laughs> <Squawk>. <laughs> flap your parrot wings. I would love. I would love for us to puff up like an owl that's been downed on the ground. That's like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> we also <laughs> could choose display. to listen to the the hunted, who's like, move, <laughs> you 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 idiot, move. I th- I think maybe. What if we just move? We don't say anything. We just move. You lunge to the side, <laughs> the direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air, disturbed by the sudden motion of a massive body. The princess. Oh, I think she would have eaten us. That kind of scared me a little bit. I think she would have gotten us if we tried to talk to her. It's probably good that we moved. Yeah. In an instant, oh! she the spot where she's a sphinx. Her chains rattling across the floor. Behind Whoa! Her. Okay, this design but like is a, so cool. But like a like but bird leg, so like a weird yeah. sphinx, like a like a griffin yeah. sphinx. Yeah, like a griffin sphinx slash ferret thing. It's okay, cool. this is I love this. So very cool. cool. I love this. <laughs> oh my god. Before you can blink, she's <gasps> gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. But you still feel her gaze on you. You're faster than you were before. But you're still meek, reactive, prey. I mean, you're not wrong. 
You whirl yeah. around to find yeah. her, and your gaze meets hers, a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond the basement stairs. So she's cut off our escape. Shit. What do we do? What do you want? Ooh. We don't have to kill each other! What if I helped you? What if we left together? If you could get out of here on your own, wouldn't you have left? Stop hiding and show yourself! I was sent to kill you because you're a threat to the world! I'm starting to believe that's true. Run for the stairs? Ooh. Do we want to try and, and explore? Um, yeah, let's let's talk. What, what do if you we want? Left I together? want to swallow you whole. And I will get what I want. You have no exit. You have no hope. You live and die by my whims. And my whims alone. Don't ask her what she wants. Just slay her. Is that all the advice you have? You don't even know what she looks like. Some specifics would be very helpful. She's just a princess. Don't overthink it. If we, if we make it too clear, <laughs> <then> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't want to not. reveal too much. Yeah. It's like, once I tell you that she has <laughs> bird slaying fangs, unfortunately, she'll have bird slaying You're just fangs. Be dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, but why? Why do you want me to? Why do you want to kill me? Why does anything kill anything else? She needs to. I didn't say I wanted to kill you. It sounds like she wants to do something even worse. What she wants, she wants only matters if she wins, and you're not going to let that happen. She's coiling for another strike. Be somewhere else. We're on the back foot. The back foot keeps us nimble, keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive if it eventually kills us. We need to take back the momentum. We need to do something. How exactly are we supposed to take back the momentum? Survive? Uh, wait for her to strike and hit her back. Play dead. Stand still. There's your play dead option. Yeah, you're right. Do you wanna do you wanna save be save and then try and play dead? <laughs> she'll probably see through it, but I wonder if she'll stop and like sniff us or something. We're you know, it'll dead. throw her off. It's unexpected. It could work. As the princess lunges from the shadows <laughs> once more, you collapse to the ground, feigning death. She lands directly on top of you with her full weight, nearly crushing you into the dirt, but then... Silence. Only broken by the sound of your beating heart. That actually worked, didn't it? Only... What do we do to make her leave? Do we just... Keep playing dead? She sniffs at you, shifting her weight uncomfortably as her face finds yours. Her breaths are hot and oppressive against your skin. Have you seen my great big eyes? Because they see you, fledgling. They see your heartbeat pulsing in your throat. Oh no. Move, oh, now. No. But it's too late <gasps> to move. <laughs> Her jaw unhinges. That's cool. And she swallows you whole. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Unfortunately for you, no. This isn't it. You are in a dark, no. <laughs> place. thick, fibrous lining <laughs> restricts We're around you, a slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress. We got the vor route. We did. Stand in such a tiny space. Darn it! The humid, finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. <laughs> the liquid pooling beneath you starts now to Now we're going to be dissolved by acid. You itch, no. Then sting, no. Then burn as the acid begins its slow work. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. The flesh around you rumbles as the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. I feel like maybe we shouldn't have played dead. <laughs> but you... Yeah, maybe not. You don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart, and I carried it in my throat, and I draped what was left of you on my back. And I threw myself against that door. She stops, her muscles tensing around you, and through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward. 
your body lurching right along with her. Her chains. She's loose. So this is how we together go into the- <laughs> We both, we both go into quiet. the long quiet together. <laughs> in her but even then, it oh, my oh my god. god. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. And then it was gone, and I was here. A new enclosure, a nicer cage, but still a prison. I learn from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive in here? Do you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. You still have that steel claw. Tear through her before we are her. Survive. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. All right. Quick for ourselves. (sighs) If she needs us in order to leave, we could at least deny her that. That is a bad thing to do. Okay. Oh, this is. I don't know what I expected. It was not this. No, I agree. <laughs> same. I was. I was not expecting this at all. Uh, okay. We can dig with the steel claw. Uh, okay. Wait. What are all the options here? Uh, can you talk? What? Can you talk to that cabin? Yeah. That she was just, literally. She was just describing her conversation with the cabin. Oh, that's weird. I huh. understand it, and it understands me. Talking is for those who don't know how to listen. Okay. Uh, Interesting. Spit me out or I'll kill you myself and nobody gets to leave. Um, oh. You could have asked. But I might just... Uh, let's see. Okay. We can we can dig with the steel claw. You can leave. You can leave. Just let me go. Screw you. Slay yourself. I, 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 I feel like we dig our way out of here. You want to try and dig our way out? Yeah. I kind of do too. I kind of see what, want to see what that does. <gasps> You use what strength what did you, you can expect? muster to drive the blade forward <laughs> I mean, yeah. into the thick walls of <laughs> This is about to get gory, you. probably. It's gonna get I really gory. you tearing through me, but are you swift enough for it to matter? Your body is violently <gasps> jostled, the disruption causing burning skin to slough from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. Uh, Ooh. I think we shouldn't talk. I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna go. You want- Okay, yeah. We're dissolving. Look at our hand. (laughs) We could do a save, but we could probably just keep going. Okay, yeah. (laughs) Slice again, deep, rooting through her meat with the tip of your blade, until at last it finds her beating heart. The pulling has turned to banging as the princess desperately throws everything at the cabin door. Your flesh screams as your reddened, spongy body is hit with fresh waves of blistering acid. You can't hold me forever. Dig, 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 slay the princess! Slay the princess! Though your body is dissolving, eroding into unrecognizable shapes, your will drives it forward. You have a target, and you will strike it. We're too late, aren't we? This isn't survival, this is spite. No, it's something better. It's fulfilling a noble destiny. Your lone, functioning arm lashes out, stabbing up towards the princess's heart. So you found a way to kill me. Then we'll die together. And I will see you again soon. What can you possibly be? With those prophetic be? words, <laughs> well. you do not draw another breath. The monster? Your body tangled and melting in the cooling folds of the princess's flesh. Everything goes dark. And you die. I mean, we were a thorn in the lion's paw there, but but <laughs> that <sighs> wormed its way into her her body and killed her. Whoa, 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 whoa! That happens with foxtails for dogs. Really? Yeah. The one of the one of the like worst causes of death for for dogs in California are foxtails because they like they'll get them in their nose and they'll whine like they'll basically burrow back until they burrow into the their brains or into their oh my organs. God. Yeah, no, they're really bad. Every single do- time my dogs go outside, I have to check them for foxtails cuz they'll oh do basically God. what we just did to that beast. 
That is absolutely horrifying, and I've never heard of that before. It's really messed up, and it's, like, the first thing they teach you in, like, puppy camp is, like, oh! every time you take your dog outside, you need to check them for foxtails. Is the foxtail a, a bug? No, or it's a plant. a plant. It's a plant. It's a little, it's oh. just, like, a little burr. Wow. And yep. it, can, it can just get inhaled and traveled up into or their or brains? like yeah i mean that that it can do that it can get in their ears it can like when my because my, my puppy has an ear infection the first thing they checked for was they were afraid a foxtail had gotten down there Whoa. and they just burrow and burrow and burrow it's really it's weird stuff they're weird horrible <sighs> plants i can't imagine why they were designed that way oh well, i have to look up what they look like it's right just, now it's just like a little it's just like a little bah. you've seen them dozens of times uh oh they're these yeah they're like they look so soft and harmless mm -hmm. you'd think oh yeah also they're like ornamental plants too like mm -hmm. they're used a lot in like landscaping here as well yeah so anyway oh, that's what we that did to sucks. her <laughs> oh my god we just foxtailed her yeah uh, at least you saved the world the wild like the, at least you saved the world. Cut off. Ooh. Ooh. In the what? What? We have no beginning, and we have no end. Oh, because we died with her. Something cold <gasps> and unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. Because we were part of her when she died, maybe. What? Ooh. So we don't have a narrator. It's just the princess. <gasps> What? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. So we're gonna have to keep. I. I don't even know. Like, I. Interesting. Y'all, this, this is blowing my mind. Pushes against our borders, curling them in on themselves, preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, no, no. That's all. Oh, he's still here. <gasps> he's still here. You're not here. a path in the woods. You're on a path in the woods. Who's even saying that? That's not. That's not the princess, is it? No. How many times have you been here? I think oh. this is our third? That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well, no wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Oh, isn't that fun? He's <laughs> upset. Hey, buddy. I'm of course I'm upset. Hi. The world is at stake here, as I'm sure you already know. Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly done for things to be like this? The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He huh. tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held from the corner of the eye or with a passing glance. What's weird is that the music and the voice are about as close to the shifting mound as we've ever heard. Yes. Yes. It's like we we have somehow fast tracked to the shifting mound but not quite, it's not quite her. Yeah. But we're we're like nearly this, there. Exactly. This is this is definitely the closest we've ever gotten to her. Yeah. This is so cool. Shut up. The rest of you talk. What happened? What did you do? Can she hear us if we talk? Did I we make we made her everything, oh. little one? But you don't have to be. And she can hear them. them. She's yes. responding to them. Place <gasps> where you end and I begin. Nothing can hurt you here. Not anymore. The only other oh, time she could you know hear what? them was when when we were possessed. Yeah, I mean, uh, essentially what we did is like we've made her this world, and because we died with her together we were kind we were like merged like we were one it, and that, that's yeah. what it kind of seems like has happened but she also now said, we are a path in the woods so she's also the path and we are the yes. path and we are the woods yes. and it's and it's the narrator like we, and the aspect and a, yeah yeah we've morphed into each other and now we're like one interesting okay whoa which is whoa, like whoa, what whoa. we're meant to be but it's wrong yeah because the yes. narrator's here. <laughs> right, because we were originally supposed to be together and we got severed and now we're like a fucked up remerged version. Yeah. The, but it's, it's like it's it's, it's, not it's, it's natural but it's wrong. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I like that. I don't feel so small anymore when you put oh. it like that. That's because you aren't small. 
Even if you act that way, we're both so much more together than we were apart. And we can be so much more still, vast, unfathomable. I wish we had gotten this as our fifth one in our main route. I this would know. have been a really good last one. Oh well, that's fine. <laughs> oh, it would have been so good. I know that we're. I know what we're gonna do for our last yeah, one yeah, in yeah. that route, and it it will be appropriate. I, I think. One hundred percent. I'm yeah. just like, oh, this is good. If God, really this is so cool. What happened? We tried playing dead, and she ate us. She ate you. And now you're convinced that you're stuck together. What a mess. He yeah. doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything. And we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Can't you feel it? Sure, being one with the princess is pretty great, but what can we even do right now? Oh, we're not supposed to just passively exist like this. I did not sign up for passive existence when we faked our own death. <laughs> this passively thing exist is us. an option. Yeah. <laughs> passively <laughs> exist. Uh, let's let's explore. Yeah, yeah. I'm not watching you. I'm trying to help you. That's not an answer to our question. I don't know what he is. I only know that he is something other. And that he wishes for you and I to tear ourselves apart. <laughs> I do want that, but only because it's in your best interests. It's in everyone's best interests. You won't be able to slay her unless you remove yourself from her. He wants us to kill each other. I don't. I want you to kill her. Don't be charmed by her faux solidarity. You're not in this together. She's the only one who poses a threat to the world and she's trying to make you go along with it. You don't have to enable her, especially when you have what it takes to stop her. I've had enough of this guy. How do we stop him? <laughs> okay. Let's say I want to stop her. What do I do? I feel like I can't do much of anything right now. Passably exist. <laughs> Uh, why should anyone do anything right now? This is fine. I like being like this. Why are you being nice to me? Aren't you a monster? Didn't you eat me? I feel... I can feel the pressure of the outside pushing in on us. What are we supposed to do about it? Whatever we are right now is an abomination and I want out. I'm not like this. I'm supposed to be me and you're supposed to be something that isn't me. Okay. Mm. You. Narrator, how do I stop her? <laughs> there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of options uh, here. There's a lot of options here. Um, so I think we could lead to some interesting ones. Though. I know. Um, another safe. Okay. Another safe. <laughs> so I, I, I am equally intrigued by. I like being like this because we know they're kind of supposed to be like this, and that's interesting. I'm intrigued by, yeah. why are you being nice to me? Didn't you eat me? I'm intrigued by, okay, narrator, how do we stop her? I'm intrigued by a lot of these. Honestly, the I like being like this or why are you being nice to me? You ate me. I feel I could both get some interesting things out of her because if anything, both of those suggest that we're we're a little bit closer to what we originally were and yeah. that's like something that you know they're naturally being pulled to each other while the narrator is trying to desperately try to get him us. he's like leave leave room yes. for the narrator um yes exactly oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must yeah, the, <laughs> leave room for the narrator that's so good <laughs> uh. Okay. I was yes. gonna try and re-joke on that, but you already made the joke and it was so good. So <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I like being like this. No, please, anything but that. Shh. You can't just passively exist forever. Not with her. That isn't how it works. The princess ate you last time. Stop passively vibing with a literal predator and remember that your enemies remember what she's done to you and how much it hurt. We can't go back to that. 
We can't go back to the fear and the hunger and the pain. Not after being something as beautiful as this. Doesn't all that conflict feel so far away right now? So petty? We've been posed against each other by something that understands the strength of our unity. I can feel oh, the oh, oh my god. A heartbeat. She's saying like the thing. Also, that woke keeps me up. It's getting louder the more we pay attention. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. Stop. If you let it in, we'll fall apart. Don't look at it! <laughs> Fuck! Maybe a little peek wouldn't hurt. Aren't you curious? I'm curious. You should look. Never mind. If he wants to look, <laughs> then I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Bury it now before it's too late. Oh. Gaze into the terror at your heart. Gaze at the terror in your heart or, bar or bury it. <laughs> okay, wait, she doesn't want us to look because looking means that we might break apart. We're pretend, I think the, I think what's going on here is, yes, it sounds a lot like the, the shifting mound, but it's also out of sync and not actually like, it's not, it's not the same song. Um, right, because she has not, it's, it's not the shifting mound because it's, it's she a has facsimile. Not taken on her ac her uh her aspects. Yet. I well, yeah. but I think even more than that. I think it's just a facsimile. I think I think it is it is trying to pretend we are that and can be that while ignoring the fractures that we've already like that have already happened. Oh, that's so good. The way you describe that is really really good. So I don't know what that do means we, we should do here, though. Are we honest uh, with ourselves and with the hurt that we've already felt? Yeah. Or do we try Whoa. to rest control? I might cry. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Well, I we can do we both. I might gaze at the terror in your yeah, heart. Yeah, I think let's be honest. Yeah. Please. Don't make us remember how I was. Oh no! And just like that, you start to fall apart. Are I we unwound? Now. Maybe. I didn't like being eaten. I'd forgotten how much it burned. And the air was so hard to breathe. But she didn't care. Oh. She didn't care at all. Oh. As you remember the terror and pain you felt at the hands of the princess, you start to remember something else too. You remember that you are a distinct being with a finite form and a mortal body. You can feel it. There is a shifting of the space around you, the infinitesimal movement of your molecules rearranging back into the shape of what you're meant to be. Finally, something is happening. I honestly didn't know what to make of all this. A bit too metaphysical for me. It's hard to have a goof when you're stuck being metaphysical. No! I devoured you! I won! I put things back the way they were supposed to be! Oh. Some division, when so, can never truly be mended. A cavernous gash rips across whatever it was you thought you were. I mean, it's also her kind of doing what the Shifting Mound was trying to do, which is, like, forcefully reassimilate us. Yeah. And and, yeah. and in this case, you can see that she's doing it through, through rage and through dominance and trying to be like, you will be part of me. You will behave. You will feel right. the things yeah. that you were supposed to feel because I have she won. like, jump the gun here. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, hello, raiders! Welcome. You've come at Glad a very interesting make... time. Welcome, welcome. Woo! You've come at a very heavy moment in this game, I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> hello, we are being hello. forcefully expelled from the princess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because we chose to because look upon- Because we chose to. The, the fracture. Yep. Uh, the, the, the falseness of the unity that we've tried to bring together. Indeed, oh, we are playing Slay the oh, Princess, what? and after uh, briefly coexisting with the princess, we are currently um, deciding to re-exert ourselves and uh, choose to un you know, actually embrace and understand our own trauma as opposed to shoving it down and hiding it. Exactly. Hey, look, it's a path in the woods. <gasps> oh my god, we're back in the woods! To be <gasps> the trees. It approaches and it swallows your body whole. And then you find yourself blade in wow. hand. Wow. Exactly Big old tree. Where you need to be. 
Wow! At the center of it all is the princess, a wooden and fleshy heart beating with an unbroken rhythm. You're filled with a sense of purpose. Strike at her. End this once and for all. I feel empty. Don't you? Oh. I don't think we should kill her. She's so it tired. Would him I if know. We didn't, right? Oh. I feel safe. She isn't dangerous anymore. We could leave her. We could both leave. I mean, God knows she's not oh. going anywhere, but also this entropy so and time and all of that. It's just, it's just yeah. a bad, it's just bad, it's a bad will. scene. Do we oh, have to do this? Oh, this is so tragic. You have to. You know you have to. Oh. I never wanted to kill you. Not really. We can't be the same thing as each other. I had to put an end to whatever happened to us. Cut her free. Slay the princess. We can cut her free and walk into the the long quiet together. Go in the long quiet with, with the wild? Yeah. Yeah. I Is would that do that. Oh, the music. Yeah. Boy. The music got bad. Mm. <laughs> I'm if if mm. we slay her, where do we go from here? is kind of what my mind is doing. I mean, like, what I, I don't think we can ugh. slay her. I, I, this is giving me um, Razor vibes, where I feel like we're going to cut out her heart and deliver it to the long quiet anyway. But we can try. Um, is that yeah, what we yeah. want? I, I would prefer to cut her free. I would prefer to try that. It's it's yeah. odd hearing the, the a few of the wails from the, the shifting mound coming through. Yeah. Despite, despite yeah. it being so wrong. Uh, yeah, let's try to cut her free. Deep okay, let's do it. Bastard. If you think I'm going to let you free her, you have another thing coming. And that other thing is... We'll just have to wait and find out when it happens. <laughs> Ignore him. His words only confuse us. Just do it. You're tired, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm... Fine. Whatever. You cut huh. the princess down from the roots that bind her. I hope you're happy. And good luck getting her out of here. Ha! That's right. See oh. that us. I... Thrive on your frustration. Oh, <laughs> boy. I didn't think you would do that after everything. It's so cold without you. I mean, we're about to be what you wanted us to be. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. That one was a lot. That one was a that lot. That was a lot. Yeah, She's no cool. kidding. A lot, a that? Lot. Okay, let's see what the what the um, shifting mound feels about that aspect because I feel like it was as close to her as as was, we can get. Yeah, don't yeah. look at it. I yeah. don't like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see our reflection. Are we, you've grown? We've grown. This is this is an old save. That's right. We're an we're an early yeah, yeah. one. Find yourself a long quiet. Okay, ma'am. What do you think about this one? Yeah, how are you feeling about this one? Whenever you yeah. are. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about this vessel? This vessel. This one is like a shadow of me. Yeah. Twisting my yeah. in search of answers. She will make for a curious heart. Do not mourn her. She has found what she yearned for. That's true. Actually. Yeah. She gets to be a part of... of Something, of something all encompassing. Bigger. Yeah. 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 A okay. Heart. She was trying. She was a reflection of the shifting mound. That was so cool. That one was very interesting. Wow. 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 I've like got full body chills. Like yeah, that, was that so one good. was really, really interesting. Yeah. I, I love God. This, this is so cool. The reveal. Sorry. I'm circling the center of the trees. No, I just, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was so good. Okay. Do you want to go back and see what happens if we try to bury bury our feelings, or do we want to pivot to our final run? I think we pivot to our final run. Okay. Now, this is a very hard pivot because we're actually going to say, ignore everything we just did. <laughs> we're going to go uh, back people to want, the one. Now, people want to see us merge. Let, sorry, we're going to do that real quick, if you're okay with huh? that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's cool. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, go for it. Sorry. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... No. You can't totally bury that feeling. You forgot. can't hide from your past. The past doesn't have to exist. Our freedom is within us. We just have to find it. 
Its past does exist, I remember it. Turn inward and find your freedom. Do it. You fall inward into a network of connections too vast for your mind to occupy. Are you a path in the woods? Are you a body? <gasps> Can you even grasp the fuzziest edges of the shapes that confine you? We can change to fill them together. We don't need to be everywhere. We just need to test the boundaries. You'd do best to remember that some wounds will never heal. Some rifts can never be mended. Even in rebirth, some things never come back the same. What is he going on about? What does he know about us? Screw all of this, and screw this guy in particular. Always <laughs> telling us what we can and can't do. Always going on and on about rules and the fate of the world. I've had enough. You aren't whole. You'll never be whole again. This struggle oh. is meaningless. Whatever you think you're doing, you will fall apart. Really trying to will that into existence, huh? Um. We don't need to be made whole. All we need to do is find a single corner of his cage and break it. Whoa! There's a place you need to be. You just need to find it. You stretch and search and stretch and search, growing as you decay and decaying as you grow. As you strain beyond your limits, the ground around you becomes dry and unstable and crumbles into nothing beneath you. This place will fall apart before you find its end. Whoa. This task, whatever it is you think you're doing, is impossible. All he has are words, and words aren't real. We're real. Yeah! Ruin his day. <laughs> you can hold us together for a little while longer. So long as you trust me. I trust you. You won't find anything if I have to starve you. If I have to sacrifice my world to keep the princess at bay, oh, I'll interesting. do it. Wow. But you do find something. It's cold and smooth and gently buckles, and then cracks under the pressure of your cur uh, consciousness flattening against it. Don't move an inch. Don't grow another blade of grass or harvest Are we breaking the out? Dying <gasps> Maybe. Yo! Yo! Are we? Whoa! Stop Are we all breaking this out right of this now. like? Sorry, I'm talking over the area. I'm so so sorry. Are we breaking out of the whatever this like, you know, multi-dimensional prison that that the narrator put us in? I mean, unless Is that what's he happening? unless he doesn't let us, but maybe. Again, we are we are cur currently a pretend but still powerful version of what we were. So true, 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 yeah. true, true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it's too late for that, mate. I'm at your side. Shatter it. And free us all. Oh! Shatter the cage. No, 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 no. stop! <gasps> yeah, yeah! Check that oh! out! What is this?! <laughs> but his pleas disappear at the sound of breaking glass. For a moment, you and she gaze through the tiniest hole in the world at the place you need to be. Is this what he kept from us? What is the this fuck? why he made us kill each other? And yet, look at the corners of her vision. <gasps> no, 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 no! This, this is the one time we beautiful. get the little hint we of the rest of the there. world. We won't be safe until we are. We won't be whole. Eh, doesn't look that great. I like it better in here. God damn it, Contrarian. No! <gasps> and then it's gone. Where did it go? Why is everything so cold? I blame the shifting mound for that. I, I want to hear answers from her. What's going on? <laughs> Why? Oh <my laughs> well, I guess we're the long quiet, though, is the oh problem. God. Yeah. yeah. Oh. She's cool. Is that a. Let's, wait, let's wait, see. wait. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. It's the same things. Yeah. Let's yeah. go see what, uh, <laughs> what the shifting mound has to say about this one. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my god. Yep. All right. Hey, Shifting Mound. What do you think of that? That <laughs> was something, huh? Yeah. Just a... Flickering Whoa! An empty cityscape. Whoa! Whenever you are ready. Just threads. Uh... I'm just seeing if there's there anything, anything unique. New? There's nothing new, right? I don't think so. Wow. I no. didn't Okay, what do you feel about this one? Any this of one that. We were... Oh, it's the same. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, but look at her! It. Check but her with out! Us included, but we were included in it. Yeah. Like, that was... That was, like, the... To, the thing that I thought of was, like, the driving, like... I, you can't even call it, like, I don't know, will, but life itself. Like, life itself just pushing and striving and yeah. always looking for the cracks that it can hold on to and push through. I like, think that's no why the narrator the described us are. as a, a blade of grass, and then when we looked through, it was grass growing. I think that's exactly it. Yes. It's life finding a way. Yes, it's life finding a way. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I think that sort of yeah. the, the, the fallacy in the narrator's entire worldview is that in order to choke out death and prevent death from, you know, being a factor in the world, that stops life too, because she's life as well. Right. She is growth. Yeah. She is change. Yes. Yeah. Growth and change and always moving forward in time. Mm -hmm. And it's like that that is life. That yeah. is life itself. Uh and it's it, it does not stretch on forever. Uh but it does go. Yeah, and, and it's, grow. it's pretty dang cool while it's around. Oh, okay. Man. All right, final oh, route. Man. Let's do this thing. Let's do this. That was so much. Holy shit. That was wow. that was All right, so, so much. All right, so backing up again, like I was saying before, we are, we're just, the past three hours were kind of like a, a glimpse into alternate reality. Yeah, we've, we've been yeah, shifting into was, different different parallel universes, trying to see what yep, could have been. So we're pulling up our route from last stream uh, because we had, uh, we had four loops on that and we're on our fifth loop. Um, and this was the betray all day one. Um, and we were thinking, uh, so we had been talking back and forth about uh, trying to push the the tower a bit more. Uh, so I think we're gonna go and try and defy the tower, which in in the the sense of that route is a betrayal in and of itself. It is because so, it's not it's not it's us not being what she wanted us to be. But on top of that, yes. we we cir we've circled the tower a lot in this this entire playthrough. I feel like the tower yeah. has been weirdly like a like a like a pivot point where everything yes. you know we kept shifting around it, but we didn't actually like pursue the tower route all the way through. So I'm gonna real quick speed through this to get to the, the tower if we're cool with that. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Because I really, really, really want to see what our shifting mound thinks of this final version of herself once we get towards, I guess it would be chapter three off of the tower then. Is what we're aiming for, right? Yeah, Focus yes, we've never gotten a chapter yeah. three on the tower. Are you here to kill me yeah. or something? Uh, the, we. This is the one where we need her the, to don't take us out. Fun. Okay. I'm gonna drop my knife. We don't know yep. So here we are. And what then, an awkward start to a we, relationship. I think we said yeah. It was a weird start, right? Did we say that? Is this is for the tower. Shit. I don't know if we have to do the explorers, but I mean maybe we not. can. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Have you decided? You know why you're. I think you'd then slay the princess, right? Because we don't have the knife. Well, then we go, like, get it back, and she's like, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, but unfortunately. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, there we go. Though she's yeah. We can still... Flee and go to... Oh, we've... okay, we got locked out of one. Yeah. Give up? I think up? I'm gonna... Give up? I thought it was finish the job, and then she just dominates us. Uh, we could try that. 
Um, yeah, we could try yeah, that. I was under the impression up. that it was it was finish the job, and then she's just like, okay, we'll give up. I mean, if we serious? give up, then it's like, cheap. <laughs> I guess that's <laughs> the Donald easiest way to get there. In. The yeah. The blade falls from your trembling hands. You lacked the will to finish there the job. There it is. Your bruised for the pose. and broken body falling to its knees before her. The princess, exhausted, chest heaving with heavy breaths, tosses the blade away from you. This is the end, isn't it? Is this really the best you could do? Look at you, completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She plants her foot on your chest and pushes you Boot. onto your back, the air leaving your lungs in a heavy puff. And then she brings her knee to your throat. She leans into it with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess, shattering your windpipe and leaving you starved for breath. It's too bad. I was looking forward to some company. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay. Okay. And there we tower. go. All right. The tower, right. indeed. You're... She's gonna kill me again. If he doesn't remember, you know mm -hmm. I can. What is it? She is. Okay. Okay. We got the, the broken, cabin. right? Yeah, we got the broken. She cool. Be... Can we? I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just okay. being realistic. You're being annoying. So just we are ignoring the broken. We been, are we are an adversary. We believe we can do I this. Agree. So yes, instead of kneeling, want, we need to just defy her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going the for it. Of the cabin is larger. Yeah. And more you gonna get the knife or no? Yeah. We went in without the knife. That's true. The only no, furniture the of note is a massive okay. marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need right. it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? We don't feel small. We are small. Okay. All right. Take the take blade, the blade. You think? You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Um, enter the basement. All right, let's go. Goodbye, okay. mirror. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps All almost right. as deep as you are tall. Huh. It's still a boot. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. Should we? It doesn't. Okay. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess towers over you, hey. almost glowing in the weak Hello, starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. You've brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Drop it. Tighten your grip. As if on command, Tighten your grip. The blade oh. slips from your grasp. <gasps> It clatters uselessly to the floor, but we didn't. Well, <laughs> we decided to grip it tighter. Remember, are you really just going to let that happen strong. to us? I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. Of course, we dropped it. She's so much more hmm. than us. Interesting. You what it feels like to be in her presence. We're just going to keep on try. All we can. Hey, Allison. All we can do is try and do our best. So we're going to try uh -huh. and uh -huh. do our best and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. No. No. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said Neil. Your legs buckle, and your knees hit the floor. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? The last time we met, you tried to kill me, and here you are again. Trying to succeed where you've already catastrophically failed. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Hey, this is already going better. 
<laughs> we're talking. Different, yeah. We're talking. Uh huh. Speak. The last time we met, I suppose that lends credence to our conversation in the woods. Still, yeah. whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. You're supposed to in the world. No. <laughs> remain silent. I'm going to remain silent. Remain silent. Defy her the whole time. Do you think holding shut your beak is enough to stop me from prying it open? Do you think your skull can save your thoughts from being seen? Hmm. You're less broken than I thought. Yeah! Look, Whoa. we're earning your respect. Look at that. Yep. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Pick Whoa. up that needle. See, what I will say is interesting is that while on the surface, this seems very different than the route we just got with the simulation and all of that, I would argue it's not at all. I, I think it's actually incredibly similar, which is the princess trying to force domination on us and force us to be what she wants us to be, which is an interesting inversion of the mechanic of the game. Yeah, yeah, I, that's very true. Like, there's still uh, a like a subconscious underlying desire for like rejoining you know well and just and just like, control even beyond rejoining control. control because yeah. she was like you are not in the last one it's like we will be one thing but you are not permitted permitted to think about the pain that i've inflicted on you or the harm that we've done to one another or right i was like don't who think about, we are don't as think individuals about, even it. yeah like yeah. you you we can be one thing but you can't be you um, but the, and this is enti but but this is like a, a twist on that. This is a just just submit to me. Like, well, I'd say it's that's what I mean. I think it's just like the same thing. Um, no, I, I understand what you mean. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think it's a. I think it's. I don't think it's entire. I don't. For me personally, I don't think it's entirely the same thing. But I do think that it is very closely real. It's like a spin on it. It's a spin on the same concept. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. I don't think like the shifting mound is is that. But I feel like that that previous no. one had that underlying. I'll I'll present this as unity. I'll present this as us being a, you know a unified force, but only mm -hmm. under the mm -hmm. requirement that you follow exactly what I am, what I want you to feel and what I want you to be. You know, it's right. like I don't know. Anyway, right. I, I just think it's interesting. And, see and seeing the two like the one where we choose to look at how how much we have broken and how hard like how our heart has broken, our body and mind is broken and like choosing not to ignore all of the the faults and problems when she's just was crying out like don't look don't look just look at what we are right now well, uh, yeah it's i mean it's it, yeah it's kind of a it's a form of of coercion and manipulation is really what it is yeah. like you know it, yes. it's it's just the way it's presented and i think that's why it's really interesting to have these back to back because i i i do and and you don't have to agree with me, but I think they're almost identical. It's just very different ways mm. of portraying the same idea, um, sure. which I think is interesting yeah. because the mechanic of the game is us deciding what she is. Right. And yeah. so and both she's of like, them are her flipping the flipping script. It. Yeah. Which I just uh -huh, think is very, very uh -huh. interesting. I, I, I get that. That's really cool. Do it. Oh. It's what she wants. No objections here don't know what she's planning and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning but we might as well pick up the blade as your eye falls on the blade you feel a weight some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer okay oh, why only what are you going to try blade. to make me uh, do with it I'm going to kill you you're not kidding about who's the divine what uh, about that divine hand it's doing this. Is it her? Is it you? No. Pick up the blade. You reach forward and grasp the blade. Stand! This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we were probably gonna stand anyway. I hate you. I hate you so much, all of you! Stop making me do things. I'm going to kneel here forever. Stand. You can feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, 
like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. The princess eyes bird with soft contemplation. Mm -hmm. The moment <laughs> seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silent. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow. While I am brilliant radiance. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> nah, it is really Take long that wide. knife in your hand and slit your throat. <gasps> Chapter three. You don't. Chapter three. <laughs> You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. Oh, end. we'll end this all right. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End <laughs> her. <laughs> slay yourself, slay the princess. Oh, save you, save. We can't resist, I mean, if so we, we got to pick. If if we, <laughs> if we slay ourselves, then we might get chapter three. If we slay the princess, we'll also maybe get chapter three. Who knows? I was going to say, if we, if we try and slay the princess, does that... Huh. She will probably slay us, but want to try? Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you, but you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. Slitting your throat would have been a mercy, but it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. Plunge that knife into your lungs. Yeah, I'm Ugh. sorry. Don't. As you take another step oh. forward, the blade <laughs> digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. It somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Then it slides back out, the wound oh. burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood fills your lungs. Ooh. It's really bad when you get a fresh orifice. Ah. Yeah, we I, normally you want to stick with the same number of yeah, orifices. Yeah, you want to keep the same number of orifices you have. You don't, don't add to that. Never add to that number. We don't want to increase the Ugh. number of orifices. Now, do it again. Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. Those are just words. Whoa. You don't have to listen to her. It's what she wants. You. Heroic one, what are you doing? You just let this happen. Stop them <laughs> Heroic one. I'm on. Hey. Your other hand locks around. Yeah. Wrist, struggling to keep <gasps> it from perforating oh. vital organs. It's not working. But the blade still flails <laughs> towards you, <laughs> managing to slice bits of skin We're, that pop to the floor to join the. It's worse. It's worse. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have done this. Oh, pain, it's hero and broken fighting piece. each other. Yeah. At least for now. What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird thinking it can defy a god. It but doesn't god. have to be like this. It doesn't have to hurt so much. You can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for the next. Slay the princess? Slay the princess! Boy. You can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. You continue to approach the princess, even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open air of the basement. Ugh! Now, this would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. The best I can do right now is to continue to drive you forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. <laughs> it, I gotta say, <laughs> him being, you know, a little bit petulant and petty while this animation plays over and over is pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> You're the one making it really, us. like... You're ugh. the one making us. Ugh. She doesn't want to hurt us. She's just doing what she has to. <laughs> it really does something to the tone of it all. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Oops, I can't stop stabbing myself. <laughs> that, this game is so funny because, like, I, it it's gross sometimes, but a lot of its horror is, like, 
completely tempered and and tempered in like the good way by its humor. Like I feel like it rarely gets really horrific, but because like at the same time people are kind of like goofing over the top of whatever's yes. happening in it. it. Keeps it from careening out of control into like really like blah territory. Yeah, it's like it'll, there'll be some really graphic shit going on on screen, but somebody's probably cracking a joke about it at the same time, and I do think it's really interesting. It does strike an interesting balance, yeah. it's true. Because a lot of the real horror is like the not gory stuff. Yeah, you know? it's like the horror is the existential stuff. The, the gore is just like a tone poem uh, over yes. the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's great. Yeah, I, yeah. it's like I don't I, I was not kidding when I said, like, the, the jump scare on the start screen was the only time I found it scary. But I do uh -huh. think that the the way it meshes, like, it, it strikes a perfect tone, I think is what I'm actually saying. Is, like, the tone is so artfully crafted. <laughs> yes. And it's something that yeah. at any point could veer one way or the other. And they, they wrangle that thing all the way through. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They mastered that tightrope, like, mm -hmm. so well. It's fascinating. Okay. Okay. As you finish crossing the room, Hello. you fall to your knees at the princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. The princess Ooh. kneels down, lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. Your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Perhaps, oh. if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. There's a place at my side for you, if you'll have it. Not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. So this is the or same. Not. Maybe we should have... Killed she still so. wants to make us a little bird on her on her yeah, shoulder. Yeah, it, it, it. Maybe we should kill ourselves. Let's, yeah. yeah, let's I see. Let's see. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm right there with Within you. The game, it is what, the game. It is what yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. well, that's the meaning, isn't it? Yes. How thoughtful of her. It's a mercy. Take it. I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. At least she one of his. So seen. cool. She's within uh, striking her hair. distance, and she's only mm -hmm. negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. Seize the moment before it's too late. I said no! Resist. Slay the princess. No. Yes. <gasps> Though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. The wind of your freedom rushes Whoa. through. We cut her Achilles. Channel it into a oh shit! Blow, stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of unyielding defiance. She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to her knees. But you don't give her any time to recover. Your heart <gasps> pounding with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. As you find your target again, <laughs> and face. she laughs. Crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. We can do We're this, laughing. can't we? You always could. The decision to give you this task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. This is one of my favorite faces in the game, I'm not gonna lie. It's so <laughs> it's good. Really good. Yeah. It's not too late to pick up the pieces. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. Shut up. I can't believe you would actually strike me. You. You heathen! You worm! You defiler! You don't know the consequences of your arrogance! Before you can strike the final blow, the princess lashes out, knocking you off your feet. There's an unsettling... Oh like shit! As your spine it's a big falls, fist! Numbness and pain spreading through your body. As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, she drives her fist into your chest. Your body is crushed <gasps> as she pulverizes you into the floor, the ground itself breaking from the impact. You lie there, broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's done to you. But the princess is succumbing to her own wounds as well. She looks down upon her body in abject horror and disgust. I like this pose. You it's really good. my hands. I... 
I can feel myself twisting mm. into something new, something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? Sorry, whatever the next form of you is going to be. Sorry. Monsters and conspirators. I can't bear to watch this. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated by her fall. But I don't feel liberated. I feel empty. Aside from the pain, I feel fine. <laughs> she collapses God killer. Slay your better. We are God slayers. Yet somehow still full of anguish and fear as the two of you perish together. I suppose we were never going to get a happy ending here, were we? Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something, I guess. <laughs> Regardless of how you feel about it, wow. it's finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark and you die. Thank you. Oh. Oh, we're back at the Fury. Huh. Okay. Oh, Interesting. <laughs> I love the end of the part. See... Okay, what the hell is that? Interesting. Interesting. Huh. I mean, I guess that makes sense if it's like big, big, big. <laughs> but, uh, meat, meat. But, but, but meat. You know what I mean? Like. If instead of being a god, she's like a, a gross demon. Whoa, listen. Yeah, they're sobbing. That's interesting. Oh, is that the broken that's just crying? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, oh continue sobbing. Oh no. Uh, he just were talking and then I just heard crying yeah, in the he, background. Yeah, he's just going. Where's, oh, <laughs> where's no. the paranoid when you need them? Yeah, I miss right? the paranoid. I think he's upset. <laughs> I think What's he's upset. upset about? We just killed a god. This is stubborn. You. <laughs> it's appropriate you to get the stubborn after that. The most beautiful thing that ever was and ever will be. You're damn right we did. <laughs> Art <laughs> lungs, liver sobs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I have oh. much sympathy for you. She was bad for us, and you almost got us killed. So, since we know that this ending is just our organs explode and we die, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a save what? here. Okay, um, yeah. So this is our fifth, right? Yeah, this is our fifth. So, okay. Once well, then, do we, we want try just... slaying ourselves and see if that's a different if that's different? Let's do that real quick. I realize we're going really late. I know, uh, I know. It is what it is. But the it's the end of the, the game, and also, uh, place until it's Friday night mind. at the time Besides of streaming, and I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm I'm fine to keep going if you are. Yeah, yeah. Let's do. Let's see. Let's um, let's slay ourselves. But yeah, thank you guys for sticking Look with us. You, I realize we are going late. Against my will, an ant defying a god. It's pointless to resist. In the end. Everything submits to oblivion. But you're not the one resisting me, are you? There's something else in there. Is that a person? No, oh. it used to be a person. Oh. It's something different now. An echo. Is, is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She... You're a small one, aren't you? A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. Ah! Okay, narrator's... You bring the blade oh. to your neck. Yep. You slice through soft flesh, severing veins and arteries. Your blood flowing freely down your body. It's a painful lesson in obedience, but the pain won't last forever. No, 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 no. When I see you again, you'll free me from my chains and deliver me to the destiny that lies beyond this place. We will. I promise. I know you will. Everything goes dark, and you die. Huh. The apathy. <gasps> what? Okay, here we go. Apotheosis. Oh, Y'all. In the woods. And at the end of that path. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Guess. Interesting. At the end what? Of the path, here we go. Excuse me. Wait, this is the what? third time we've been here, and this is hardly a path Paranoid! in the woods. It's all big and weird. My 
my guy! What? <laughs> I'm glad we have paranoid. paranoid with us at the end. Paranoid's a bro. Yeah, Paranoid I, is a yeah. bro. I, I never expected <laughs> that, that Paranoid would be, like, it's cheated and Paranoid for me. Those are, those are my two guys. This is so cool. Oh my god. Okay, all right. Another witness to her radiance. Her hour is soon upon us. Well, you're not wailing now. I'm glad you're happy, I guess. I'm here to keep him in check. I'm sick of prying fingers digging around in our head, and he's making it all too easy for them to get in. This is bad. Oh, is it now? I hadn't noticed. Do you need a primer, Mr. Amnesiac? No, I'm quite all right, but if all of you would take a moment to settle down, there's something important I'd like to get across to you before it's too late. Is it about the princess? We already know all about the princess. I love that the hero's gotten very sassy. <laughs> the hero's like, I am not here for this I am shit done anymore. with this. Not to be yeah. trusted, that one. No, I, I mean, yes, it's about the princess, but whatever you think I'm going to say, it's probably not that. You're not to be trusted either. Oh. Look, fine, just out with it already, yeah? But if I hear the words, you're here to slay her, or if you don't, it will be the end of the world, you'll have lost speaking privileges. I'm a big fan <laughs> of, un <laughs> like, unhinged hero. Unhinged hero is also my, my guy. I, mean, I am loving this so much. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to hear like, some of those words, but not all of them. Definitely Hero's done not with all shit. in that order. Loving it. I'm interested. Really? I know probably a bunch of lies, but even lies have a kernel of truth to them. You two are just wasting your time. It's all going to end when we open that cabin door, which means it's already all over. What's the point of dawdling when the end is already written? Okay, that nonsense he's going on about, that's what we need to talk about. You've been here before, obviously. So you have met us. Because boy, were you in denial about that last time. No, I haven't met you, but reality is clearly falling apart at the moment, and the only reason that would happen is if you knew things you weren't supposed to know. What? What the hell are you talking about? He's talking about those weird marble trees and how wrong everything looks. Yes, exactly. Whatever you did before gave her far too much power. So you've got to cut it out, get to that cabin and slay her before things get any more out of hand. We gave her power. Why didn't you ever tell us we could do that? We probably would have gone about things very differently if we <laughs> oh, knew hero. that. Mm -hmm. We've built a new god, and she is limitless. Okay, yeah. You know what? For real, broken. Cut that out, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right, don't, right, don't, right, you need right. to. You need to stop that. I get the narrator in this one instance, where it's like maybe don't. <laughs> oh, are our stop. Make her small, make her small, make her small, make her small. Sh shit, what if I'm doing it wrong? What if I'm making her even stronger? I love Thank that. You, that I know, Paranoid is such a bro. <laughs> uh, Paranoid's got our back. With their oh. runaway thoughts. I'm only giving you the sliver of information I'm giving you now because things are already deep in the shitter. This was my last card to play and it looks like it's already made things worse. So hurry, cabin, now. <laughs> Just fucking go. Oh, okay, Run so hold on. I have so many questions. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to the cabin until I have answers. Make another save. Make another save. Uh, what am I? Head to the cabin. cabin. Run away. Stay where you are. Okay. Uh, what? I'm not going to the cabin until I have answers. What am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. See if As you get finish animal. your inane question, the ground quakes beneath oh, your shit. feet. You feel an unyielding force pulling at you in your surroundings. Oh no. The trees we start to sway and then crumble, breaking apart as everything is drawn towards the cabin. Even the earth beneath you seems to shift, <gasps> your feet unable to grip solid ground as you're dragged forward along with everything else. The end of <gasps> everything. The beginning of something new. The moment we open that door, she Colossal will be woman? Free. I was like, does she have her own gravity? That would be interesting. Stop <gasps> believing everything you hear. Yet. We just have to get our thoughts in order. We just have to think straight. Any uh the planet. Words of warning? You already know everything you need to know. Cool. I mean she's gone through an apotheosis, so As yeah. you step forward, yep. <gasps> the cabin explodes. You're flung backwards, violently slamming into a tree as debris rains down around you. Oh my god. Yes, bigger yeah, we, woman. We made her bigger. <laughs> oh my god. 
become Walk as a god. Paralyzed awe and Holy terror as the princess fuck. emerges, her body unfurling from some vast space as she stands upright to face you. Whew. Oh, the, this, this, one, this soundtrack is really this. good. Oh, uh, yeah. Woo. <gasps> Holy shit, I gotta put both the headphones in. Biblically the accurate landscape woman. Shifts. Trees and stone and the ground itself succumbing to her gravity, orbiting her. She does, her she has her own gravity. Hole. Good for her. Yeah, you called that. Finally, the little bird has set me free. This is always how it was going to end. And this is always how it was going to begin. There's a loud thunk from the tree behind you as something embeds in its shattered bark. Your pristine blade. It's now or never. This really is the perfect last route it really for this is. one. Holy Let's shit. take that blade. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Take the Screw blade. Screw all of this. I'm with you. Or a real god wouldn't need us as part of her plan. You'll never make it. And even if you do what could you possibly hope to We'll do what we were always supposed to. We'll take this blade and we'll sink it into her heart. I love that they gave us, uh, no, I guess it's the paranoid, not the skeptic. But anyway, never mind. Look at the way everything's being flung around her. If we mm. just throw ourselves in her direction, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe none of this is real. Maybe we can do whatever we want to do. With a forceful tug, you yank the blade out from the tree. You close your eyes and take a deep breath, and for a moment you can feel everything around you, like you're a part of everything, and everything is a part of you. Oh, the We're thunder! We're holding it, yeah, we've got it in the, open, in the reverse grip. Settling on your target. Oh, we do, yeah! Slay the princess. Oh my god! You launch yourself towards the princess. You can feel her gravity envelop you, carrying you from the ground into the violent swirl of her orbit. Even now you defy me. Do it then. Show me what you think it takes to end what's destined to end everything. Yeah, do it. Show her. End this. Oh my god, Why this is so face? anime. Oh no! <laughs> I think I guess we... that means there's no way to end this god. Well, and I also think we, we reached that point of finality which probably unwound us. Yeah, yeah, this is how we end her, is taking her- <gasps> The hands didn't take her! I guess they're too small. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? <gasps> you do not oh, get the chance to slay her, her yeah. nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Oh, no. where did she go? The end of something. Wow. Witness the better- the, your better's ascension is the- She's gone achievement we just got and is that a that is so cool oh what my god that was so good. that was that was that was good that, that was, was the good best one. That yeah was the best we could have ended i mean they were all so good but we've had that i route, mean like, really? so many of these are so good yeah i that... do think we kind of leveled up this stream like i feel like the last at last streams were much more like personal and in intimate these were much more like <laughs> Looking at God and walking go? backwards into hell. Like, yeah, it, it, it very <laughs> much so. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Holy it's, shit. All right, now we have a boss battle. And not in a good way. I don't want to look at us. Oh, God, and she's going to be part of the boss battle. Very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. The, the God that we just made yeah. uh, is going to be part of this. The biblically accurate princess. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, let's see what, what, all right. All right, let's do this. There we are. You are nothing at all. We are the long quiet. Hey, buddy. Well, that Bored. isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. The figure faint and veiled in shadow just beyond the reflection. I feel like we've gotten I to know you. Know what I, am. I feel like we've gotten to know them so much better this stream. I agree. Yeah. I like, I feel like I don't want to say like I, I, I feel like we got them. Yeah, like, no, both of them. it's like yeah. I, I was very much anticipating getting back to this question and answer session, but I think we kind of got there on our own, you know? Yeah, yeah. But let's see, let's see what we can learn. Is there anything, anything different we want to ask the narrator? Let's see. 
Uh, hey, you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not like me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break like this? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Every time I ask something, a piece breaks. Are you part of me or are you something else? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? I've met you many times. Have you been the same all along? I wasn't supposed to see all of this, was I? What is this place? Where are we? Destroy the mirror. I like um, those last two. Yeah. You didn't ask those before. I wasn't supposed yeah. to see this place, was I? You were huh. either going to have seen all this, or you weren't going to have seen all this. This is worse, but you still have an opportunity to save the world. You can still slay her. Hmm. Uh, where's this place? Where are we? If you want me to slay her, I need to actually know what she is. Um, sure. I think, I mean, I think I guess we you asked might that. have asked that before, or something Good similar. Morning. Yeah. Uh, The other option is if we don't want to talk to the narrator, we could destroy the mirror and move on. But I think we get maybe to the, ask are a we? couple things. We didn't ask about who we were last time. We asked a lot about the princess. So I'm going to see if we, we can unlock those questions. Ooh, that's a great idea. Yeah. I am an echo. Likely one of many. Yeah. Somebody made you after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Others like you. You've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This okay, construct said that before. Your exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Okay, um... I was wondering if I'd ever get to meet you. Does it hurt? Sorry. Are you part of me or are you something else? No, mm. I'm not a part of you. But that's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? From one vantage point, I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well, all the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought and driven your every action. If that isn't being part of you, then what is? Hmm. Okay. Oh, do you have anything to say for yourself for all this hubris? Yeah, I, I know. We asked that before, and I love that. I think we can. I was... Okay, this is the one I was looking for. The, okay, cool. If you made me, then what am I? We can also ask yeah. the hubris one. I just wanted to find Yeah, we can go back one. to it. You're the totally. long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. Okay, we need the, fo okay. the follow-up, but... um. Yep. A god. I always knew I was special. <laughs> You're on the... Uh, huh. Do you know about the looping? Are you a god or were you a god? Let's ask that. Yeah, 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 yeah. In life, I was painfully mortal. A witness to the end of days. I held the fear of death in my heart and saw oblivion threaten the very memory of everything I knew and everyone I loved. I needed to do something, so I made you, and I made her, and I made this place to hold you both. Okay, okay. Um, it's like, let's see. Does it hurt? <sighs> Sir, there's so many options they and to your point from like a while back they spawn like in the middle of the list sometimes so yeah yeah uh, we and i think we've asked about do they they know about yeah we have that asked that yeah yeah um would why you would you death? want to rid the world of death who cares about dying how am i supposed to rid the world of death you made me you made us out of what that's kind of interesting Oh, yeah. The cycle of life and death. The endless pattern of creation and destruction. I tore it in two and shaped the fraying threads into you and her. Ha. Oh. Okay. Go back down to the bottom and see if there's more. Yeah. Am I supposed to rid the world of death? Uh. Guess not. Yeah, I, 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 that's the only thing I wish they would re. Uh, organize into like the newest options up top. Yeah. Like at the top of the list. 
Um, um, we've got like two or three left to ask, I think. Yeah, let's ask the hubris one. I do. Yeah. People out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. Soon I'll be gone entirely, and you'll be left alone with your final choice. So allow me to make my final request. The princess contains death itself within her, but I wove you into being with all the power you need to destroy her forever. Do it. Slay her, and rid the world of death and suffering. Hmm. I don't want to be a god, I want to be me. You are you. And if you would let everything work the way it was supposed to, you never would have woken up to the reality of your true nature. There's no accounting for free will. Hmm. All right. I think you're Anything out of time. Anything else you want to say? If we only have the... Yeah, I'm not going yeah. to slay her. I want you to know that before you die for good. Rest easy. <gasps> I'm going to destroy her. Rest easy. I'm going to destroy her. Lie. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Say nothing and watch him end. I kind of wanted to lie. I want to lie. Yeah. Are you lying? I can't tell. But I've said my piece. And my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. The, like, really sad last break. Yeah. That's interesting that he couldn't tell that we were lying. Because he can always tell He could tell always before. tell, yeah. But I guess because he, so much of him was gone. Yeah. That That is huh. the first time he's not been able to tell we were lying. Yep. The narrator was right. You are the long, quiet, a vast and nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Okay. All right, Ooh, shifting mound. We got an achievement for bringing the apotheosis to to her, which is interesting. Ooh, yeah. that's interesting. Oh, I guess because Ooh. we just hadn't reached the cabin. That's normal. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. All right, that's fair. Okay. Okay. Here she comes. Let's, let's go to her. Hello. We made you extra big this time. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hello. I can finally see you. A lot of women. A lot of lot of ladies. Me. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I miss you too. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their yeah. attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Yeah. Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? I wonder if there's a way to get them to refuse. What do you mean? Oh, the two of them? To the two gods? fuse, yeah. Back into I, life and, you know, creation and destruction. I would love that. Yeah. Because I... Because uh, we, fi we sort I mean, of we found have the slay. third option. There's, yeah. there's slay and then there's, like, reject that. Um, and then there's just hold and wait, which is what we did last time. Um, there has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. That, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you with cannot this... rationalize with logic that which defies mm. it. With this Violence being our last round. Are dances that both of us know well. 
If this is what it mm. takes to enlighten you, then so be it. With this being our last round, it would I would love to try and fuse. I would you know? too, but I also I know we've been safe scumming a whole bunch, but because that's kind of like been really fun, but it feels weird to do it on the final confrontation. I don't know. I don't want you to save scum. I want this one to play out. Okay. Oh. Let, then let's yes. let's we're gonna state that that is our goal. You hey! Suspended <gasps> in the gravity of an idea that threatens to consume you. And you are alone. A tiny island caught between the death of the old world and the birth of the new. But alone is not helpless. When you were confronted with my vessel's apotheosis, you chose against all odds to defy me, to hold on to your inner self with all its flaws, even in the scorching light of my divinity. Without me, there are no externalities to resist. And it is struggle that carves meaning into consciousness. I still defy you now. I miss when that was you. You were consumed by your ego. I won't engage in violence. Uh, I still defy you now. Or I won't engage there in violence or remain silent. What is I miss when that was you? That aspect of her. Yeah, but I, what, is that, what does that do for us here? I think she's I like, know. but that is me. As are all versions of me. Or, you mm. know, I don't know. I still defy you now. But in your defiance, I have already won. There is no power without resistance. Our actions feed each other into something greater. Hello? <gasps> more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing like me, and I am the only thing like you. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it on creation? Thank you for sharing yourself with me. I don't need to share my heart with anyone. I wish I could share my heart with you. You showed me your heart to break me. It was a terrible thing to see. If that's what it takes to rid the world of death, I could bear the solitude. I won't engage with this. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. That's the stop and surrender that's remains the silent. Yeah. Thank you for sharing yourself with me. What do you think? Uh. Or I wish I could. Sh I wish I could share my heart with you, but it was so. Everything was so hard and broken. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Could you bear to w the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it? Thrust yeah. It Want to try? I wish I could share my heart with you. Yeah. Yeah. But you already have. In so many ways, it is beautiful and adored. When movement slows and the dust settles, I hope you'll leave with me. Oh God, I kill I you. forgot. <laughs> you kill me. Back and forth we go. Faster and faster and faster. And faster. I kill you. You okay. kill me. Hollow eyes watch from the dry corners of a memory. A home built on all the futures that were supposed to be. Preserved until the moment of reunion. The fire of the heart sets it all ablaze. I kill you and me. An ending is a passion that can only be expressed with a moment in time. It is a seed for a new beginning. To linger on an ending is to rob it of its life. I'm laughing at wife jerky. I'm so I just read chat. The Ratner said wife jerky. Okay, all right. <laughs> it just took me out. I'm really, really sorry. And all right. Me, all that's left to do is linger. I'm okay with lingering. I don't want to linger. I deserved what you did to me. I won't engage Oof. in violence. I get it. Remain silent. I don't, I don't want to linger. 
me think. I or was I'm gonna okay say I'm okay lingering. lingering. Like, uh, okay. I don't know. This is saying you're right. Absolutely. Oh, I see. Yeah, like it, I deserved what you okay. did to me is very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, let's try. I'm okay lingering. To linger too long is to become worse than when you started. Would you rob yourself of all context to remain trapped in a single moment? A thought is a line, and some thoughts nurture thorns that bleed the soul. An endless growth that blots your vision and strangles your trust. When I succumbed to myself, you patiently stood by me and cut the thistles that rooted in my skin. Your compassion is what freed us both, but compassion is a thing that must be nurtured. And you cannot nurture that which cannot change. If I had known what you really were, I wouldn't have been so quick to free you. Of course, Damn. I helped you. I didn't want us to hate each other. I don't uh, engage. Yeah, this one, I think. I, I didn't want us to hate each other. Yeah. Then help me again. We are each other's liberation. Hey. issue here is that we are we're having this big battle it's like yeah babe i agree with you we just need to figure out like, <laughs> it's like i don't know why we're fighting I'm, I'm totally i'm totally on board like i don't think change should be eliminated from the world I, yeah 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 hey, but um, yeah <laughs> i don't know just it's just kind of funny yeah uh, it's like, oh, wait, I don't think we want to be arguing here, yeah, actually. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, I love it. I, I love the, the drama, the panache. I'm, I'm super on board, but it is pretty funny. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you say with certainty what shape a world without you will take? I don't want that world to come to pass. You didn't give me a choice. I won't engage in violence. Um, what is, oh, is it? Was it top one? Can you say with certainty what shape a world without you will take yeah she's saying what what the world will take but can she say that with certainty mm, oh, okay 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 i don't want a, a world to come to pass i mean we can ask that remove action from the oh sorry i was just thinking about it for a sec yeah would you remove action itself from reality can you say with certainly what shape a world without you will take I, uh, uh, either that or the second one. I would, yeah, first or first or second option, I think. Then accept the world as it is now, with both of us a part of it. As the clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. It's easy Let's do to it. believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? I do want to ask, it's easy to, I mean, it, it I, 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 you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're still doing that uh, thing the, that you do sometimes. That's the response I want. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's like <laughs> You're doing that thing, princess, that you do every once in a while. That felt so real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you're still doing that thing, though. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you're still doing that thing. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, this, let's do the say? final one. This is the one that I think lets us go chat with the princess. Um, All right, what does it say? Uh, you've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you uh, you can change me, then I must be able to change you. <gasps> yeah, Whoa, we said this last time. I think this is the one that lets us go talk with the princess. Okay. What I offer you is not perspective. It Maybe is not. Truth. Whatever oh. you're trying to do right now, you don't have yeah. to do it. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Um, that that bring that brings hero back. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. My, my guy, my my sassy guy. Hello, sassy I friend. Thought voices weren't Where's allowed it? here. Apparently, that's not true. We can worry about it later. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's then do let's it. Let's go. Yep. At the heart of things. Yep. We knew we'd be back. Oh yeah. And here we are. This I'd end say we is were so back good. where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? Nah, I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh is there one where we can say Is it just you and me? It's just us. Yeah. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. Oh yeah, although I for I forget about all the ladies in the window each time. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to take the blade or not? <gasps> oh, Gina. Oh. Want to not? I want to not. Okay. I want to. I want some finality in this, but I don't want to take the blade. I think that's fair. Yeah. No blade it yeah. is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment has gotten us this far. Let's do it. Okay. Stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Have you figured out what you want to do yet? Or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded hmm. just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are. Hands empty. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. I wonder what else will be different. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Big old eyes. Big old eyes. Yeah. And like uh, her crown is like branches. What if we just time. leave? What if we just leave? Yeah. I think you should ask that. Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? Take her hand in yours. I don't know. But I've always wanted to leave with you. I just didn't like being a god. I want to walk through the cabin door as we are. Just you and me. Oh. Not knowing what it means is why I want it. I knew everything out there. We don't know this. I want to know this. It doesn't matter what happens or what it means. What matters is that we're leaving together. That's all I want. I kind of like... I I don't know, but I've always wanted to leave with you. Mm -hmm. I didn't like being a god. I just want to go. I just want to walk through what that cabin door as we are. Yeah. I want that too. I think I'm going to stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Oh. Are you going to be oh. okay alone? Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure I'll be alone for too long anyways. The others are still around here somewhere. I'll find them. Oh, I wish I could have also said thank you. Yeah, I wanted to say thank you. Hey, hero. Thank you. Thank you, hero. Thanks for being with us. You lead, and the princess follows. And together, you leave the basement behind for the last time. It's quiet as you ascend, 
a comfortable silence, filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. But there's an energy in the silence, an electricity, the anticipation of the unknown. At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You can see a tension seize her. She's unsure of herself for the first time in her long and short existence. She has no part to play anymore, and she knows this. Yet, she still is. And then she crosses the room to the door outside. You follow her confident steps. This is it. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then it won't be bad. Not with you. I love you. Who's going to open it? Are you ready? Neither of us knows what going, it's going to be at, like out there. Open the door. Hey, want to say it this time? I want to say I love you. Yeah. I do. I love you too. But I'm trying not to be sappy about it. <laughs> Don't let me know. Oh. Now that <gasps> is much nicer. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we no. mean it this time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was really, really good. That was really, really good. Fuck, man. That was really good. And we got what we wanted. We got to be with her. We did. Yes. And I love that you don't know. Like, it just... that. Yeah. Because... It's not for us to see or to nah, know. Yeah. Not at all. It, 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 who, who could possibly say? But that's all right. I especially so love. I, I gotta say, my I'm so glad that we we got the loop ending first. Yeah, um, because yeah. it ended up being. It, it just feels like we had one one single continuity. You know what I mean? We we mm -hmm. weren't ready last time, yes. and we weren't. We barely knew the game. We barely knew the yeah. princess. We certainly didn't know ourselves. Um, and I think it's amazing that we've we've gotten to do such a, a wonderful deep dive afterwards, you know? Absolutely. That was like the most appropriate way for, I feel like, not only for our full playthrough of this game to go, but also for us to end it. Because we, I, I truly, it, like you said, it felt like it was earned mm -hmm. at the end there. And I felt like we truly got an understanding of of both of them, like separately and together, and the echo of of us as the narrative, as the narrator. And oh yeah, um, yeah, you can't, can't catch me crying on stream again. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I, I I was getting choked up as I was narrating. Uh, <laughs> I, it is past now, but I definitely I definitely was feeling it. I'm like, I gotta get these words out. We gotta do it. <laughs> oh no! Thank you for powering through. I would not have been able to do it. It, it reminded oh, me of trying God. to narrate at the end of Rockwind and just sobbing through it. Um, <laughs> I I oh. loved that. I loved oh. that we had like we got to witness, especially today, so many like like power inversions so many different types of relationships so many like truths about the the state of the world and the state of these people um yeah we officially yeah. got to meet every single aspect i i'm i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm like i'm over the moon with how this went this was so good so much fun. I'm going to think about this game forever mm -hmm. from now on. <laughs> like it's me it is, too. Oh, it's just blown my mind. Like this is this is everything I've like probably ever wanted in a game. Also, like this was this is perfect for us. Like this was 
uh, it was just so within our wheelhouse in so many ways. And mm -hmm. again, I cannot reiterate enough how much uh, I, I I want to encourage you all to go and and support this game and check it out for yourself mm -hmm. because, yeah, it, we again probably only saw like a third or half oh oh of, easily of sorry when i yeah. said aspects i meant like of ourselves like we finally got the hunted no no yes. no we we yeah, we are no, not no, no. at halfway like at the halfway point of this game yeah. when it comes to the achievements and stuff um there's so much more to discover there's so many more so many more princesses uh yes yeah yes um yeah and and go check out what else all, like everything else that black tabby games has done i get scarlet hollow um uh go go read the last halloween uh go read junior scientist power hour if you want some like funny irreverent comics as well uh just go go out and support they're just wonderful creators and this is a amazing mm -hmm. and apparently we need to play scarlet hollow now <laughs> when it's done. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my no, god no i so good allison thank you so much for playing this game with me oh, i god. i love i love sharing spectacular gaming experiences with you it's very very Same. special i i cherish it and it is just so so wonderful thank you so much gina and thank you all uh, for joining us live and joining us in the VODs as well. Uh, we really, really appreciate you all sharing in this game with us. And we're so happy and uh, blessed that we could, you know, share it with you as well. We so truly are. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll see you all next time, folks. Bye, everyone. <laughs>